Hello there, good morning, welcome back to You Garden TV. My name's Joe. I hope you are doing well. It's bright and sunny and gorgeous. It's always bright and sunny and gorgeous when oh, Bex is in the studio. Is How so are you? So lovely you. to be back uh, here with you. It's an exciting time, isn't it, Bex, at the yeah. moment? The no, sun's out. We're the very, very excited. Flowering. Yeah, gardeners, it's our it's our time right now. There's mm. things popping up out the ground. Uh, we're making our plans for all of our summer flowering and we've got loads of stuff here for you today. Yeah. Yeah, to have. make our gardens gorgeous this year. Absolutely, and all the juicy goodness that you expect uh, when you shop with us, with us here at You Garden TV. Make sure you're using the code, of course, YGTV1024. 1024 uh, is what you need to make sure you are popping in. You will, of course, get free postage if you're filling those baskets over £40, which is marvellous. And we've got a bonus item for you. Now, 99p, yes. you have to pay the postage, uh, but talk us through what we're getting as our sort of bonus item you're gonna pay a pound extra for these amazing yeah 99 pounds if you add these two baskets so you're gonna get 10 of our, stra our strawberries the Cambridge favorite runners now they are Cambridge favorite they are, they are a UK favorite and that's I think because what you get here is a heavy cropping variety deliciously sweet but these are normally cropping around the time of Wimbledon and Wimbledon and Ooh. strawberries go hand in hand don't they, they really absolutely do. strawberries delicious juicy grow your own very easy totally hard and these will last you for years as well and they are just 99 pence when you add them to your basket this morning now there is a 6.99 postage included there on there so what we're suggesting is first of all get your order up to over 40 pounds and we will take all of that postage cost including off including the postage on the uh, the bonus item as exactly well exactly that but if you're not going to spend over 40 pounds today we do only uh, ever pay one postage really? cost so add the strawberry runners add a few other items and you will only ever pay that one cost yeah, I mean, so you've got something in your basket, let's say the PMP is only 5 99 you may as well add them, you're going to pay an extra pound on the postage, an extra pound uh, for the strawberry runners as well. 320024, yeah. putting the code in is what is going to make everything easier for you. So it where is. we have postage incentives, buy one, get ones, um, all of those different goodies, it all starts with you making sure you've got the code in. So maybe you note it down, well, you don't need to note it down, it's going to be there the whole yeah, time. Yeah, and we will I'm bore you with it. bang on about it <laughs> We as will, well. I'm afraid, we yeah. will bore you with that. But um, it is the thing that unlocks all of the deals, so it's super, super ooh, important. What's been going on in your garden this week, then? Ah, OK, so I planted six million... Uh, slight exaggeration, ooh. but I did plant up a bunch of dahlia tubers earlier nice. on in the week. My sweet pea seeds are shooting. I planted some begonias a few weeks ago, and I'm starting to see the shoots coming nice. up from those two. I've got black calla lilies pl uh, planted. I'm starting to see a few little shoots coming from there. Uh, and I've just been having a general tidy up in Lovely. the garden, which has been nice. I'd love to know what you've been going on in your garden uh, yeah. this week. Week. Yeah. If you want to email us in, you can email them to us. Details there on the bottom of your screen. YGTV at YouGarden.com. YGTV at YouGarden.com. Let's just talk about it. You know, the elephant in the room. Okay. The promo email went out today. Yes, we've got the same outfits <laughs> on that we are wearing in this show. Sorry, sorry. Did we plan it? No. <laughs> Do we have a very limited wardrobe? Yes. yes. Uh, so, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It just wasn't great. It wasn't the best, <laughs> the best plan. <laughs> uh, let's move on then. Let's have a look. Oh, well, let's move on. Let's get started, yeah. I guess. The Boxwood Acorn Planter. Now, this went absolutely berserk yesterday. Uh, one of them should be £18.99. Put one in and the code. That £18.99 becomes £14.99. And we're going to give you an extra one as well. How Absolutely, yes. It's going. It's a buy one, get one free. We definitely have limited numbers of these. It was the most popular item from yesterday. And Stuart's having a little look at the figures, but we don't think this is going to last He's trying, the he's day just working today, out how I can use abacus yeah. clattering in <laughs> there. Clattering in the background, yeah. absolutely. Now, it is a beautiful pot. It is made of plastic. Now, this is a great thing because it is lightweight. But... Um, I, I do want to point out, I went to a garden centre the other day, mm -hmm. I didn't buy anything, of course right. I didn't, okay. but I had a little wander around and I was specifically going to look at pots. I wanted to look at the plastic pots that are out on the market and I have to say, in all honesty, they looked cheap and nasty. Mm. These do not look no, like that, do they? they? They definitely look high end, they've got a beautiful design on here, lovely colours on here as well, but the benefits of plastic is um, they're lightweight, as you can see, Brilliant. I can move them around much easier in my garden. 
but they're also UV stabilized. They're frost resistant, so you don't get that expanding and cracking that you normally get with other pots that you can buy that cost a lot more money. So they're designed to last you for many, many years, and they are super beautiful. We know several of you so have got these. We have several. We had a few they? pictures sent in yesterday, oh, Joe, nice. of Happy people have that have planted um, using the boxwood planters. So we are suggesting if you do like them, it's the time to get hold of them yeah, because these are on what we call rundown. Rundown. They're not coming back. Rundown. They're got the CD back. on. Rundown. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Stu's just telling me that if we sell as many today as we did yesterday uh, they will be gone so don't uh, expect to come back and see these on Sunday if they go at the rate they did yesterday what I'd say is well loads of you watch us live which is always glorious we love it when you get in touch and chat along with us but if you are watching us on repeat please check the website to see what the stock situation is at the moment because yeah, they've been got, very busy we've got loads of pots not just on, the, on our show plan but obviously you can go and you can search the entire website you can shop on the entire website it's not just what we're bringing you within our shows and there's loads of pots on there so if you are looking specifically specifically for pots obviously this is a great deal but there are lots of other things you can shop on our website just always make sure when you place your order you enter that code in so that you get any additional discounts absolutely I mean if you're just going for those uh, and you're paying the postage there you may as well add the strawberries oh, in because absolutely. they're only going to charge you a pound can we only add one of these Stu Oh, he hasn't tested it. We he hasn't tested look. it. Why don't you test it yourself at home, see if you can add a couple more in? See if you can add a couple in. Well, it <laughs> should, but I'm guessing it'll be one per order. We will investigate, or you we'll can investigate, look. and see how many you can add. It could be an abundance of strawberries. A straw abunda. A straw abunda. <laughs> I like it. We always uh, make this up new summer. words here. We do. We do. 130395 <laughs> if you want to go for that one. Right, we're going to have a little look at the standard line. Look, you didn't see this yesterday. Yeah, we saved a few you items. You were talking about just the fragrance of this being one of your absolute faves, weren't you? There Love is, lilac. There is a do oh, there's a double up deal for thirty nine ninety nine. Well, if you are going for the boxwood planters, perfect, aren't they? These would be absolutely perfect to go into the boxwood planters. They will look gorgeous. A definite feature tree, I think, in your garden. But not just because of the way it looks, but because of the way it smells. Lilac mm. has the most gorgeous fragrance to it. You can see that this is absolutely waking up up now there are so many buds there's foliage coming out on here but once we get a little bit further into the season around May time this will start flowering and what you get are oh, oh my word look at all those flowers you get so many flowers on here and eat they're, they're those lovely tubular shaped flowers as well and they have the most divine fragrance on here but what's even more interesting about this particular plant is that it has been um, uh, grafted into a standard form and standard shape. Now, if you've grown lilac at home, I've got one planted in a border. It's a baby. It's a new one. But they can get really, really big. Okay. They can get really tall. They can take up quite a big space. So if you don't have space to plant a, you know, a normal lilac bush, a tree, you could go for the standard because this will never get to stupid heights. We're only talking maybe a metre and a half, two metres tall. Nice. But it will always have this beautiful beautiful ball-shaped head on the top here that through the summer May time it'll start all the way through till around September you will get flushes of these beautifully fragrant flowers you could cut some off you could use them as cut flower nice. displays yeah, I know love you love your cut idea. flowers oh, I love a cut flower, yeah. and it's brilliant isn't it to bring that fragrance into your home I've got one of these I planted it recently it's waking up just like this one I can't wait to see the beautiful flowers that appear mm, and on here it would work lovely as a pair which is of course while they're on that double up deal for you uh, so, you know, one of these will be, what, 59.98, or to get two of them individually should be 59.98, two for 39.99 today, which is great. Or if you are in the discount club, 26.99, which is sensational value for, for one. So it'd be 35.98 to get two, 35, no, 35.99 to get two of them. I, I'm not so a many numbers. <laughs> uh, if you're not in the club, though, it's definitely worth joining, Bex. Talk yeah. us through the club and well, the benefits we've had we a get few... from that new um it, we've had several new viewers that have been uh, commenting and, and joining so it is worth highlighting we do have this amazing discount club over 40,000 members in this club right now wow uh, which should hopefully give you an idea of how wonderful this club can be for you it costs five pounds to enter i want you to look at the green box that's the auto renewal right you can cancel that auto renewal of course it yep. doesn't tie you in at all you can cancel it at any point or you could go for the one year membership just the one off last 12 months for 10 pounds but 
do go for that five pound one because if you want to cancel you absolutely can you won't though because once you start no. seeing the discounts rack up this is where you will want to be a member for life 10 percent of every plant and accessory order so everything that we are bringing you here today including the pots including the compost including the bulbs the plants the shrubs the standards you will get 10 percent off that oh and yes Stuart, you're absolutely right it's pointing out to me listen look at the small print on the green box what that tells you is that if you print. join the uh, membership on the auto renewal at five pounds and if we put yep. the membership price up it won't go up for Amazing. you you will only ever pay five pounds as long as you don't which cancel is, that which renewal. is lovely because so often we're like brand new customers only yeah, and absolutely no. no if you join you'll always get the best deal which i think is brilliant yeah. uh, so definitely think about going for that i mean you only need to be spending what 50 pounds in an order and it's actually going to it's well, going to be worth going for absolutely if you don't make your money back from joining the membership in your first order you certainly will absolutely. in the next couple of orders and then you're a member you're a member for the full 12 months and every time you place an order 10% discount plus you get £20 worth of you garden vouchers to spend Ooh. throughout there as well it's £5 every three months Brilliant. and if you think if you've got one to spend at the moment maybe you want to use it on the on the um, the, 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 the lilac standard tree or maybe Absolutely. on the boxwood planters it really does bring those prices down loads and loads of great things for you to spend those vouchers on in these shows if you want to go for the lilac you can or the syringa palabin standard <laughs> I love these names we, we, we don't give we haven't I was about to say I love the names we've invented for and we haven't they are there <laughs> you know they're Latin technically names they're things, Latin yeah. names, Latin that well utilised language. Yeah. Uh, Five one zero three one seven is your uh, item number. Carpa DM. Let's move on. Let's do it. We're <laughs> going to talk about some plums now. Nice. And we're we'll talking about duo plums. I as well. actually used to have ornamental purple plums. I was telling you about Did this before the show. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in a house I lived in, not far from here. They're not edible, oh. and they also because they weren't edible, you never pick them. No. And then they, the plums would then just drop on the lawn, and they just go a bit. Just go so just a bit manky and then yeah wood room lawn not this because obviously potting these if you want is great but you're going to eat them which is delicious you absolutely can so this is how it was going to come to you it's a bare root tree we're not past bare root planting yet okay we can definitely still plant bare roots we could plant bare roots all the way through march maybe even into april as well we have actually potted one up so you can see what this looks like in a pot and these are designed to be able to grow on patios in pots as well if you want Brilliant. to the clever thing here, the witchcraft that's happened here, is that we have got two types of plum that have been grafted onto nice. one tree. Hang that on. sounds so strange, what, what, doesn't what, what, what? it? There, it's one, it's one, it's got two different varieties. Two different varieties on, on the one tree. They're like the Siamese twins of plums. I know, it's incredible. How incredible is that? So on one side, you're going to have Victoria plums. UK favourite, absolutely adore a Victoria plum. Absolutely delicious. Lovely and on the crumble. other side, we're going to grow Zar plums. Wow. Which are an also... Huzzah. Huzzah. They are a fantastic variety. Very heavy cropping. Absolutely delicious. They're eating and they're cooking Ooh, plums. Nice. So if you want to just eat it straight from the tree, you absolutely can. If you want to make some kind of plum jam or jelly mm. or you want to put it in a pie or, I don't know, whatever do you want to do, you can do all of that because you will have grown it yourself at home in a smaller space and that's why these duo fruit trees really have been designed because let's face it in modern gardens we don't have masses of space we don't have a separate area where we can have a mini orchard growing or at least the majority of us don't um, but that's why these have been designed so we can get we can fill those spaces very easily mm. you can even train these duo trees to grow like up the side of walls and things oh, really? as well so it really is a space saving so it could idea. actually be quite a focal point as well yeah. if you wanted it to be in your garden as well as it being incredibly practical because it's going to give you uh, fruit which is great would we get some fruit this year do you think or are we going to be waiting for next year um i'm gonna suggest potentially you might be waiting until next year for a few you might get a few right. um but yes it, it does need just a little bit of time to establish what i would suggest though is that um you don't want too much fruit in its first few years anyway because okay. you really want your fruit trees to establish before right. you um before you get too much fruit so 
So I would actually suggest thinning the fruit once you start seeing it appear anyway, certainly right. in the first few years, so that um, so that the plant can put its energy into creating really good fruit rather than and becoming a really strong tree rather than getting loads of little. So as soon as you see, as soon as you see, uh, as soon as, as, soon you, as see, you see fruit appear, just you start thinning them out. To every so not, sort of not 10, taking all of them. No, just thin it out. Take right. a few away. Brilliant. That's always top advice. Uh, three zero 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 six six. If you want to go for those, uh, fifteen pounds you're saving here. Under twenty pounds or under eighteen pounds if you are a club member. Don't forget. Do get in touch with us. I'd love to see pictures of what's yes, been going please. on in your we garden. Yes, please. We had a few like yesterday, and it was um, really quite lovely. Right, we're going that way, I believe. We're going to do oh, some nudie florum. In the nudie florum yeah. is where we are going next, which is a gorgeous jasmine. Um, but something that you were telling me before the show. So, Bex, this is going to provide colour when there isn't an awful lot going on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's the winter jasmine, and this is what I really love about what we do here at Garden because we often talk about gardening for everyone, so it doesn't matter what kind of space you've got. But what we're also trying to bring is um, the idea that there is something that you can have in your garden in every single month of the year that's going to look fantastic. And obviously, over the winter months, you know, there's not much flower, there's not much fragrance, there's not much foliage, but that is what your winter jasmine can provide for you. This actually has the Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit. I always like to point that out because it just... I mean, it gives you confidence to shop and to buy, basically, in this particular plant. The Royal Horticultural Society, they don't just give away that award willy-nilly. They do put the plant through rigorous trials and tests, and it has to meet, meet certain criteria for them to then award it that. And what it tells you is that it's a proven performer here in the UK. So this one is an award-winning plant from the Royal Horticultural Society. Mm. It is a winter jasmine, so it is a climber. You can train this to grow over over, um, you know, pergolas, or maybe you've nice. got an archway, maybe you've got a fence that you want to cover up uh, and make it look a bit more pretty. You can do that with your winter jasmine. Maybe you just want to keep it in a pot and have it, you can you can build your own little trellis with um, canes Beautiful. and things in a pot for it to climb around. We have a tower pot that you could go for, which I highly recommend. I think they're fantastic. But this is going to flower for you with these beautiful yellow flowers all the way through from around November time it's going to start Which through is December. Great because that's when everything else is kind of gone off, hasn't is it? sort of ending isn't it? Absolutely but right the way through till around now start of March this is where it starts to lose its flowers. But if you think about that November, December, January, February the dullest dreariest months of the year you can have a sweet smelling beautiful bright yellow flowers in your garden. Really gorgeous isn't it and, and sort of getting this in now then and letting it really establish itself yeah. ready for that first season which is always important. Is it? It's a 60 centimetre cane in a two litre pot. It's a brilliant price. 9 99 today if you want to get your hands on that. It yeah. is glorious. Where in the garden? Anywhere specifically we're putting this? Well, is it, it happy everywhere? Wants a, it, wants a, it wants a bit of sunshine. Right. Um, but obviously bearing in mind that winter is pretty dark and dreary anyway. But you want to give it as much light as it can get over those winter months. But ultimately it's pretty unfussy. Nice. Very easy to grow. Incredibly low maintenance. And not really fussy about soil type either. Brilliant. Uh, a good all-rounder then there. 550375 if you want to get your hands on that. Mm. Uh, right then, let's move on to... This is... Uh, it is a whopper, isn't it? It's a it honeysuckle is. that we're looking at now. It's, it's beautiful one. to look at when it's like this, I think. So really excited to see what this is going to do in your garden once it sort of gets cooking. So we're talking about another climber. We're talking about something incredibly fragrant as well. And the flowers that you get from this, I think, are super mm, unusual. Really very, cool, very pretty aren't they it can get to a big size as well you know we're talking about maybe four meters as far as the climb of this is concerned so certainly over the top of a pergola this is going to look absolutely fantastic if you're growing it over an archway i love the idea of maybe being able to get two of them and put one on either side so it nice. grows up evenly and meets in the middle fabulously fragrant shrubby climber that we've got here it's one that is excellent for wildlife as well so bees birds butterflies they adore this it is nectar rich flowers 
flowers that you get from it. Now the buds that open, so they start as this beautiful deep red, and then they open to like, the flowers are like four centimeter length, they're, and they're incredibly um, fragrant. Long flowering season as well. It starts in around June and keeps going through the summer months, July, August, into September as well. It wants, um, it doesn't mind a little bit of shade actually. Sunshine for sure, it'll tolerate a full sun position, but will, it will cope uh, well in a part shady position as well. Uh, and it also has the Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit. So this is another one that is a proven performer. Completely winter hardy as well. So winter hardy is an important one because it has course, our lifetime guarantee. Yeah. Uh, um, t tell us about that then because it's a complete peace of mind really, isn't it? Yeah, well I think, so the Royal Horticultural Society Award is a great piece of mind for starters but then with anything that is winter hardy we actually give it a lifetime guarantee as well so if it's fully winter hardy and what you're looking for on the website is there's a little badge on the on the right. product page it's uh, it's a little snowflake and it says winter hardy on it if the product has that on it it means it has a lifetime guarantee from us Brilliant. so if it fails to thrive in your garden if it dies all you have to do is get in touch with our customer services department and we will we will replace it absolutely free of charge you just need to cover any postage costs Brilliant. to get it out to you that's always great isn't it total peace of mind though because that is for the lifetime of the plant amazing really really cool that uh, and again you know as Beck says just complete uh, peace of mind five five zero three three one i love the sort of different tones of the colors within yeah, the flowers it's pretty, isn't it? flowers often are on one color aren't they but you can see with this you've got those really deep reds borderline sort of blacks in there all the way through the sort of maroon colours then into the peaches and the violets it's a real interest piece this is it, it? Is. And there's little stamens on the outside yeah, that I you know. can it's see super there interesting, sort of isn't facing it? out really really um pecu peculiar not peculiar weird and wonderful weird and wonderful it's my weird life and wonderful category too. i love life a weird us. and wonderful absolutely that's why we get that's on why... <laughs> I was just which one's which uh, five five zero three three one <laughs> if you want to get your hands on that let's do some hellos because there's lots of you watching shane Philip Good uh, morning. saying hi Good uh, morning. over on Facebook. Who have we got? We've got Elaine. Elaine. Elaine's always in. Good morning. Mm, and Elaine's Ian. always there. Hi, Ian. Ian's watching from his caravan in Scarborough. Scarborough. Oh, right. I love Scarborough. Ian, get yourself down Winking Willies. Winking it is Willies. the best fish and chips in is Scarborough. It? Winking Willies. Battered sausage, large cotton chips, maybe even a bread roll if you're hungry. Oh, oh thank my you later. Mm. He probably knows Winking Willies if he's there. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dexy's oh, got, got a new, a new joke. joke. Right, Love what is Dexy's it? Jokes. Did you hear about the gardener whose girlfriend lived abroad? No, I didn't. It's a long distance oh. relationship. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Keep uh, them coming in. Any any uh, garden-based jokes you've we got love for a us? We always joke. Fantastic. love to hear them. <laughs> right, uh, let's move on. If okay. you want value. Oh my word, um, more value than you can pour some fertilizer over here. Uh, we'll work on that. Uh, 650134, it's a buy one, get one. So if you don't put the code in, you'll only get 10 bulbs. Put the code in, you'll get two sets. So you get 20 bulbs in total. Yes, I've And they are just a, a sort of beautiful, almost straightforward lily, I guess, these ones. A straightforward lily, I mean, I'll go for that. What you get are a variety of absolute Absolutely outstanding colours in here. Look at the colour mix that we're talking Wonderful. about. The oranges, the yellows, the whites, the red. And these are just stand out when it comes to a floral display over the summer months. All lilies, I think, are real showy flowers, mm, aren't they? They really are. They're definitely attention seekers and attention grabbers. They have beautiful, heady fragrance and nice, strong stems here as well. So for your cut flowers, you know, if you want to have those cut flower displays indoors, nothing can be better, I think, than have that lovely fragrance and those lovely showy flowers that the lily will create for you. Not massive either, we're talking with these ones. So some lilies can get up to a meter in height these should only get to about 60 centimeters in okay. height but strong sturdy stems so shouldn't need staking if you're leaving them outside um, but certainly nice and strong and sturdy for you to bring indoors as well they do like a, a, a sunny position I would okay. definitely plant them in as much sun as possible having said that I planted loads of lilies last year some in pots that were in full sun position on my patio and some in the borders that are a bit more shady and the ones in the borders did absolutely fine oh, okay. as well Brilliant. so I think it's, they do 
tend to lean towards the sun, so those right. ones I needed to stake. Mm -hmm. um, but they did absolutely fine. They flowered beautifully. So I would I would always recommend as much sun as possible, but they'll cope with a little bit of shade. Glorious. And they'll come back for you as well. Year after year, lilies are so hardy. Will you cut them down to soil level, or do you let them just do their no. thing? No. So you can use them as cut flowers. By all means, you can cut a bit of the stem. But what you should try and avoid is cutting them too far down. Right. You need to leave some of the stem intact, and you need to leave that and let that die down naturally. It's the same with the majority of bulbs that you see. It puts all of its energy into growing the, the stem, growing the flower, but then it needs all of that energy to die back down into the bulb so that it will continue to flower year Perfect. after year. If you cut it down too far, then it loses that energy and so the bulb doesn't necessarily doesn't flower for you the next year. Sort of regenerate from. Exactly. Uh, if you are going for these, you're getting an amazing deal because they would be a pound each if we were giving them to you at 9.99. With the code, they are 50 pence each. I know, that's amazing 50 value. 50 pence per bulb for lilies and how glorious they are. I was wondering why they're my favourite flower until you started to describe them as, you know, attention-seeking, <laughs> headline-grabbing. And I thought, do you know what? If, the shoe, you if the shoe fits. Uh, 650134 <laughs> is your uh, item number there for those. Let's move on to something beautiful. It's our English aconites we are looking at next. Yeah, I'm a bit in love with these, actually. I was out on a, on a walk the other day and I saw um, in somebody's front garden they had the most beautiful sort of raised bed um, and at the moment what you can see is a carpet mm, of these sort beautiful. of ground hugging plants and the yellow flowers were just starting to poke out above the beautiful sort of dense green carpet of foliage that it creates. They're a proper ground hugging plant here so if you think about how snowdrops grow and these flower and grow at a similar time so if you've got snowdrops how wonderful mix these in with your snowdrops and have the lovely white and yellow mixed together um, but they grow nice and short as well they don't get too tall we're only talking maybe 15 20 centimeters in height the lovely deep green foliage at the bottom the bright yellow flowers that have and I'll show you on the plant here they have this lovely green rough around the edge of them as well let's bring Perfect. this one out because you can really see it on this one. That's how they come to you in the bag, by the way. They're and you in just the got green. it in the green, yes, which we don't see loads of. Um, no, well, it's a really short like this, planting season. So, this is what I'm talking about. You can see that flower bud just starting to come out, but then this lovely green rough around the edge of here as well. I think it's super interesting. Now, these have been planted and grown on, okay, because. Okay. So in the green is the best way to ensure success. Planting aconites from a, from a dry bulb, they can be quite tricky to get started. So this is how you ensure success. These have been lifted while they're in their active growth. You can see the bulb at the bottom there. You can see the flower growth at the top. Plant them like this. And once you plant them out, they will start to die back down. You know, you're not going to get the display no. this year, but you are planting them for next year. And this is how you ensure the success to get that growth next year. And what these will then do is they will multiply and they will create a beautiful carpet of color just the same as you get with snowdrops and mm. with bluebells and things like that they want a similar setting as well they're a woodland kind of um, they like that woodland setting so under trees under bushes dappled shade they're gonna do absolutely brilliantly grab the grab the ground for you create that lovely carpet of color suppress some weeds that might be trying to come through as well um, and they are a member of the buttercup family you can totally really see that looking at them, you can can't you, can't you? Maybe you tried to grow aconites before and you failed maybe you know from a bulb you haven't been able to have the success or maybe you're you know relatively new to gardening I think having them in this way you know having the expertise of the nursery mm. put into the growing process for you means that you're gonna stand the best chance of getting the best result each and every time yeah. and first time which is what we want in the garden let's face it well, I did it with snowdrops last year and I bought them because there's a really short planting season for this oh, obviously okay. they've got to be lifted when they're in active growth so it's literally a two three week sort of so we want to get time. these home and get these straight in the ground do we? yeah these need to be in the ground as soon as possible they come to you in the bag as you can see here and they do have some moist soil in the bottom here to keep them nice and moist but you don't want to leave these in the bag for too long at all they do need to get planted out within a day or two of you getting them home Perfect. Six three zero one zero one two. If you want to go for those, you've got a great discount. Remember as well. So if you're just going for those on their own, four ninety nine postage there. Yes. Put the strawberries in for an extra pound and pay a couple of quid more postage, and you'll get those as well, which is brilliant. So for two ninety nine, you'd get ten strawberries, which is brilliant yeah. value. If you are spending over forty pounds, and you're going to get free postage, so you should be adding them willy nilly uh, there. <laughs> I love that term, willy nilly. Uh, willy -nilly. It's <laughs> 
we both didn't... use that now. Do we? Yeah. Did you start? Did I, I start it? Yeah. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I've, kept, I've, I've uh, I was going to say I've ingested that one. That's the wrong word. <laughs> we'll do you carry know what's that going on. on with the word today? Yeah, we're struggling. I feel aren't we? like we came. In, I came in this morning like a like a something out of something. I was like a coiled spring when I got here this morning. Yeah. I was full of beans uh, and Bex was a bit like, oh, not, you know, just it was a bit tired. <laughs> and we've sort of met in the middle somewhere, <laughs> haven't we? I'm not going to say you've drained me, Bex, but other people might. I think I might have done. <laughs> um, but now I can't think what I'm saying. Let's move on and have a little look okay. at these. It is our begonias, yeah. a classic. The Fimbriata, yeah, begonias in general are an absolute classic. We adore begonias. We adore begonias and they're a total favorite in our UK gardens for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we never know what weather we're going to get, do we? Ever. I, like ever. In ten, I can't see what it's doing in 10 minutes, let exactly. alone tomorrow. In the UK, when it comes to the summer, is it going to be hot and dry? Is it going to be wet and windy? Is it going to be a mixture of all of those all things? All that in a week, probably. In a day, sometimes. Mm. We have absolutely no idea. And that is why begonias tend to be an absolute favorite when it comes to planting in our UK gardens, because they can cope with all of these weather. Weathers. Absolutely. They will happily live in a full sun position, but they will also happily live in a part shady position as well. Hence why I am planting begonias in my northeast facing front door window, uh, nope, hanging baskets this nice. year. Because it's a bit shady around mm. there, but I know begonias are going to flower constantly for months over the summer season. So that's one of the main reasons we go for them. They flower constantly all the way through the summer. They're going to start somewhere around oh, look at May and June time and they're going to keep going they're going to keep going right the way through to the first frosts now the first frosts for us last year we were right into November weren't wow. we yeah. begonias, late, in fact I dug my begonias up in the end because I, I had to do something else but I was a bit disappointed to do it because they were still doing amazing wow. so these will keep going for ages for you the Fimbriata mix I think is a real sort of standout mix when it comes to begonias as well because the Fimbriata refers to those lovely ruffled petals that you've got on here loads of petals layer upon layer of them but it looks like someone's taking the pinking shears looks to like the edges it's like paper aren't it they does, to look at it? yeah really interesting um, the other great thing with these as well, well you've, you've got options about how you want to get a hold of this so if you want 10 tubers great we've given you a discount on there we've taken what a third off and um, brought them down to 9.99 if you want to put two in your basket along with a code uh, we've actually given you two for the price of one, essentially. So Basically, brilliant yeah. value, however you're getting all of these. Absolutely fantastic. And these can go in multiple locations as nice. well. So they're slightly more upright variety of begonia. So they can still go into your hanging baskets. And I would put them in the top of the hanging baskets. They could go into pots. They could go into um, window boxes. We've got a few of those on the show, by the way. So we've got ideas if you're looking for pots. They could go um, into the ground as well. They could work beautifully in your borders. And I really like the colour mix in here as well. Mm, because cute, they're bold and they're bright. You've got reds and yellows and oranges and I love that kind of they're hot colors and they're all mixed in together and something I really enjoy about begonias as well is it's not just about the flowers the foliage on the begonia is really quite interesting as well and it's that combination of the two that I think really do work so well together beautiful yeah the foliage is really lovely and bold within the 630190 uh, is your item number if you want to go for those uh, and they are tubers we're calling these yeah so these are the little bird's nests, as you described them previously. They Do we sometimes like call these something else? The uh, shape, do, are they called sometimes something else? We have, bego we have tubers, tubers, we have corms. Corms. They look a bit similar to corms, <laughs> don't they? they it, it very much depends. Honestly, what, Honestly you should hear the conversations again, that we have about uh, all the different things. If there's corms, there's bulbs, there's tubers, and they are there, there are distinct differences between them mm. all, but essentially they all contain the ingredients needed to create a flower. Brilliant. And you pretty much treat them all in a very similar way you know, you, once you plant them in the ground. Mm. Now, to start these off, you do want you do want to start them off frost-free. They don't want to go outside right. yet, but they do want starting off. I've got mine in shallow seed trays, just like an inch of compost at the bottom. I put the, um, the uh, <laughs> I was gonna say corn, the tuber in, you want it um, uh, bowl shaped down, the slightly um, convex. Indented. Concave. 
the concave shape uh, pointing to the top. That's where the shoots are going to come from. A light covering of compost over the top, not too much, and not too much moisture either. A light watering. If you put too much moisture in, they will rot. So okay. just a light watering. And then put them somewhere sunny and warm and wait. Nice. And you will start seeing shoots coming out of those. Once the frost has passed, you can then plant them out into whatever location it is that you want to put them in. Brilliant. They're very, very easy. Uh, 630190, I would definitely be getting two of those in your basket along with a code uh, and you will only uh, pay for one of them which is glorious so what uh, 1998 yeah. to get 20 tubers which is brilliant value 630190 yes. should we go to the compost oh yes come on Absolutely. then let's go to the compost because incredibly popular for compost at the moment it is always so popular whenever we bring this to you like a legendary product this i mean every gardening show always has it on we couldn't do a gardening show uh, without it the deal is sensational what is it about our premium professional compost that means you know there's thousands and thousands of it. people going for this well, Bex. what difference will it make it amazingly works and this is um what everybody in the chat will always say all of our regulars say we get thousands and thousands of reviews over the years that we have been bringing this product to you on various shopping channels and what have you this has been one of the most standout products it is the compost that we use here at the nursery and if you think that um, our business is growing plants we want to provide the best quality plants of course we do and we're not going to use a substandard you know cheap and cheerful product in order to do that we use the best and this is the formulation that the nursery have developed here and have allowed to get out and into you know the general marketplace so that we can get the benefits from it as well it's packed with ingredients absolutely it is what's what's the difference then between a, a compost like this and a sort of bog standard front of the garage outside the supermarket compost that we might buy well what i've so what i've noticed when i bought um inferior product compost in the past is first of all it's a really nasty texture so right. i i, I the last bag I bought, which was a long time ago now, because obviously I buy this now, but I, it had massive, great big chunks in it. So it hadn't been composted properly. Right. And if you're thinking about planting, I don't know, like like plug plants or seeds or things, if you've got great big uncomposted bits in mm. there, the roots are going to really struggle to get through there. This is fantastically composted. There's no great big lumps and chunks in here. So the texture of it is amazing. It's light. It's airy. That is wonderful for roots to be able to get in, to spread to grow roots are what feed our plants that's what reaches for the feed for the for the moisture for water so they need room to breathe to grow breathe that's an important one oxygen is vitally important to root development and growth strong root development means bigger better healthier plants as simple as that more flowers more fruits better shoots bigger bumper crops of fruits you know that it all is going to come from a strong root system if we've got changing weather if it's one day it's hot and dry and the next mm. day it's wet and windy um, our plants can get stressed by those kinds of conditions, but if it's got a strong root structure, it's going to be able to weather that weather even better. Which if there's only great. pests and diseases, the strong root system hopefully is then going to make the plant deal with that even more. We've also got in here, we've got different types of peat. There's three different types of peat, light and dark peat. We've got... Um, <laughs> Pete Burns, Pete Andre and Pete Waterman, as <laughs> Juicy said, no. He does that Just all to the give time. You an insight. Every time he does it, it makes me laugh though, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, renewable peat in here as well. So there's a sphagnum moss peat in here. But of the stuff that isn't renewable, what we've done is we've reduced that content. We use the minimum amount for maximum okay. results. We've got a slow release fertilizer. Let me pick up a chunk. And as I move through it, can you see those little green balls yeah. within the compost? There's loads of them all spread throughout that compost. Can't see any now. I've lifted it up. There's one there's there. Thank you. There is loads. One right oh, there. Let's see. Here we go. La Lots of green balls all the way through this compost. What this does, it's a slow release fertilizer, feeds your plants for a good six months once you first plant them up in here. We've got um, we've got this pH buffer in here. Oh, nice. So acidity like and product. alkaline <laughs> acidity and alkaline levels within the soil is relatively important, particularly if you're thinking about um, camellias and rhododendrons and blueberries. They need an acid-loving soil. Right. They need an ericaceous compost. But everything else, 
will live happily in here. This has got the, exactly the right pH level in it to make it an all round compost, something you can use for pretty much 98% of the plants that you are going to plant in your garden. I've repotted all my house plants in here as well. There's a wetting agent too. It makes nice. the water sticky. It means that when you've um, watered your, you know when you do your hanging baskets? Yes. Or and it just they get runs a bit, straight through. And it, it either runs straight yeah. through or straight over the edges. The wetting agent in here makes the water stick to the compost. It's so, so important, honestly. And it's so this is all um, it's scientifically backed basically to the right levels and it does mean that every time you use this compost or you buy this compost you will get the same great quality every single time you buy it glorious isn't it really uh, is. two 50 litre bags so you've got a 17.99 saving which is glorious but we have also removed the postage for you as well which is wonderful so one zero zero one two five uh which is amazing so mm. delivered uh two of them delivered they're what, £12.50 each, which I think when you consider the work and the effort that goes into them, the quality of the ingredients, the, the, the sort of great start that they're going to give your plants, whether they're indoor or outdoor, it's pretty much an all-rounder, isn't it? Apart from oh, those totally. ones that like that ericaceous compost. And please do, if you're watching, you're new, you've never used our compost, please, um, and you're thinking, oh, they're talking nonsense, it's just compost. Mm. Please just put a little note into the chat, either on Facebook or on YouTube, and say, is this compost really this good? because we've got a whole bunch of regulars that have been shopping with us for years. Absolutely. Who will, they will tell you, you know, our mm. customers will tell you how amazing this compost is and the kind of results that you can get. So please just, just put a little message in there. I just love and that it just you comes in a, you know, in a plain bag, no fancy gimmicks, yeah. no marketing campaign, no branding. It's just the great quality compost that's used here on the nursery, which is amazing. Absolutely. We've got a random page of reviews on the website for you. Best ever compost. Uh, we've got the best compost out there. This this is the best compost around. I get great results. I've been using it for a number of years now. Love the fibrous look of it, and it gives uh, the roots room to develop. Uh, excellent quality. It arrived in very good packaging, and these are that are page after 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 page of reviews. So go and have a little look uh, on them. I've purchased a fair amount over the years. We'll do in the future. Don't use any other compost unless the ericaceous is required. Uh, we missed buying last year and our produce was not as good. Yeah. So back to it. This is so word. typical. So Stuart has literally picked a random page here. He never pre-reads the reviews before he shows them and brings them up on screen because he knows that it, it, every t every page is yeah. filled with amazing reviews. So that should tell you something if you're umming and ahhing as to whether to give this a go. I promise you, uh, my own personal experience as well, this is amazing stuff. Yeah, it is brilliant. 100125. Five is the item number. Oh. Uh, now, let's remind you on the buy one, get one free planters. We are kind of there, Brady. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the buy one, get one free planters that we've got for you. Yep. These are brilliant. Now, I can't quite believe the deal that we've done on them. So one of them should be a £19 buying a penny. So we've taken a bit of money off, which is brilliant, but they want to buy one, get one. So put one in your basket along with the code YGTV1024 and two will come into there for less than the price of one. These look beautiful. So I wouldn't say they look like a plastic pot instantly no. if I saw this in your garden. I, they really, really don't. You wouldn't be able to tell. They do look like some kind of um, ceramic or painted terracotta or something, don't they? Mm. There's no nasty seam. Because um, they used to have seams, didn't they? They did, yeah. Uh, and there is none of that. It's got a beautiful finish to it. It's got that lovely topiary design on the front here as well. I think it, it'll fit into any kind of garden scheme as well. Absolutely. You know, it's, giving, a... it's giving Tuscan garden for me. Yeah. I could see some uh, lavender planted in here, maybe outside a nice cottage would look lovely. Absolutely. I think it works perfectly for any of the standard tree. And we've got a few standards on the show today. But it, likewise, I think you could put some summer bedding in here as well. Nice. You could have something, you know, your sweet peas perhaps trailing over the edge here. I actually want to get these, and I didn't place my order last night, which was silly of me because it's well, potentially going to sell out today. Yeah, if we sell as many as we did yesterday, 
yesterday, today, they will miss be out. gone before Sunday. But so I've please got, be quick for I've them. I've got my tall, thin cypress conifer um, trees. Nice. And I really need to repot them because they're in quite a shallow pot. I love a cypress These would tree. work perfectly in here. So that's why I want to get hold of these. And then I could underplant as well and put some lovely um, bedding around the edge as well, which mm. would look really lovely. So these are fantastic and they are going to go. We are, we are yeah, probably going to lose these. Yeah, they are the best value. They will the incredible value. Uh, it's your boxwood acorn plant, a 33 centimetres in diameter. Um, let me just show you as well the journey on how you grab these. Now, um, Stu, he's been a silly billy. He Is has he? put a, a boxwood acorn round planter in his basket and he's put a majestic lily in there. But what's he not put in? The code, silly, YGTV1024, in that goes, uh, hit apply, now look what happens, we've got a free planter, which is glorious, and a free set of the lily bulbs too, uh, and he has saved £32.98, pennies. Now. So he should really hear, we've got a quandary, mathematicians. Uh, Stu's going to be paying 6 99 postage. No, and what he should, I mean, he's, I know what he's going to say. He's already paying the 6 99 postage, so what he should do is put the strawberries in there for 99p. However, what I would be doing is finding something for £7.02, pence, getting me up to uh, that free postage, and then putting some strawberries. Can we put more than one strawberry in there? Have we, have we checked? Oh, the second one's 9 so it's one per basket. If you're putting in more than one order, just saying. Um, <laughs> but you will only pay, if you're paying postage, um, sort of the highest postage in your basket will be the postage you'll pay. You won't pay postage on anything else. Uh, and then, of course, you can pop your strawberries in there. If you are spending over 40 pounds, there we are. Well, Look, so you're spending 50 pounds. Check out what you're saving, 59, 97, saving more than you're spending there on that example basket. Uh, well, has spotted something. I've spotted something here as well. So you can save a further five pounds and ten pence. Now it's going to cost Ooh. you five pounds to join the club. Uh, join the club. So you're mm. only going to save ten pence in this order. Brilliant. But you've now joined the club for five pounds, and that lasts else. you for the full twelve months. So for the next twelve months, you'll get ten percent off every single order that you have placed. If you are going for your strawberry runners and you don't know what you're going to plant them in, I'm going to recommend you go for our heavy duty pots because they will be fantastic uh, to plant your strawberry runners in. So have a little look for the heavy duty pots. Oh, he's brought it up on screen uh, for there us. There they are. One, three, zero, one zero, one, one. You get 40 of them for that. No, get eight, four. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you get four of them. Can you <laughs> that imagine? Would be a lot, that would be a it? massive order. Uh, you get four <laughs> of them. So they work out five pounds each. Yeah. Uh, and postage is included here as well. I'd love to know in the chat who's got the most of these because I know there are another. <laughs> these and the compost are sort of the two longest running staple yeah. products, really, aren't they? This, it, this will be one of the best purchases, as in how long it's going to last mm. for. It's one of the best pieces of sort of hardware that you can buy from us here because these. These are just, okay, so they're super strong. They're gonna last mm. for many, many years. The handles are molded into the plastic. These do not rip, they do not break. If you've bought those, and I've had them, I've still got them at home. I've got the, you know, the floppy plastic kind mm. of garden trucks. Yes. The handles have ripped off so many of those. Mm. They are just rubbish, honestly. So these, that's not gonna happen with these because the handles have been molded on. They are commercial growing pots. This is the sort of pot that we grow our fruit trees in. That's what we potted one in there. There's loads of fruit trees in the, in the nursery here that are potted in these. The reason is that you've got drainage in the bottom of the pot, but you've also got extra drainage around Perfect. the sides of the pot as well. So it really does help to drain away any excess moisture. Growing strawberries in here, I need to repot mine into these basically. How many do you put in each pot here? If you're getting. <coughs> um, you could go up to five, okay. I think, in one pot. Um, three would be absolutely fine as okay. well. But yeah, you probably could go up to five. I think I've got five in each of my pots at home. Brilliant. This is going to last you for so many years. Sean's had his for, he reckons, about 12 or 13 his years now. His strawberries? No, his, um, oh, his heavy duty pots. So say you should try and eat them. They're probably not looking <coughs> their best. <laughs> I've had my pots for a good five or six years. Okay. Honestly, they just keep going. They're not only used for growing things in, but if I'm ever doing any jobs in the garden, it's my garden truck. It's what you put all my waste in before it goes in the big bin. I use one for putting my recycling in in the kitchen mm. before it goes out to the big bin. Of course. People use them in the garage to store like car cleaning equipment in. Absolutely, they're if you're so going to get handy, equipment they? out of the shed, you put it in here and bring mm. it out with you. Honestly, I, I, I know I am um, 
waxing lyrical about it, but it really yeah. is a really good pot to have in your garden. Across Elaine's you. got eight of these. Nice. Yeah, actually, Elaine's not in the chat. Any advance on eight? Any advance Do on eight? let us know. I've got. Um, I'm growing four things. I've got garlic, a cordyline, an apple tree, and a rose are what I'm currently growing in um, in these. I want to transfer my strawberries into these. Perfect. And I've got another two or three that I'm using. And I just think they're always handy, these, just to have a few of them spare. Because totally. you're going to pick something up, someone's going to give something to you. And you know pretty much, if you're just putting it in here for a moment, that they are going to be brilliant and so handy all the way around. Oh, yeah. um, you know, the garden, the home, the kitchen, the garage, wherever you're choosing to use them. Uh, Dan Bancroft has messaged has in he? the chat. It says, glad to see I've got my trousers sorted. What was wrong with and, uh, yesterday, so I was looking after Barney all day, yes. little boy. Um, I came down and I had, let's call them a statement denim jean on. Right. They were sort of like really oversized and very, very like washed out. They were not work appropriate. Okay. And when I got down to Peterborough yesterday, I realised that I hadn't packed my other trousers. Oh no. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So yeah, these are from Your gardening the, trousers. These are my garden trousers. Love it. Gardening trousers. And. Handed Got a pocket. pocket on the side. Nice. And a pocket on that side. And they were 19 you're pounds fine, from the supermarket the last night. We dress night. for gardening That's here. That's what it is, it's yeah. So uh, these, these are now my gardening trousers. Uh, <laughs> 130011 is your item number. Remember, postage included, you get four of them. Elena's has got 12 heavy nice. duty pots. I'm going to have to go home and count mine now. I think, Elena, you've got more than me. So mm. you're doing well. And she needs more, apparently. Mm. She's got clematis, she's got strawberries, mini orchard, runner beans. All of these things are absolutely fantastic to grow these pots in. They really, really, are. really good. Mm. Really good. Uh, 130011, stock up on them, postage included there as well, which is marvellous. Marvellous. Right. The deal ah. that we are getting told off for yes. because this was so busy uh, in the show yesterday. It's not expensive enough, apparently. It, it, someone's even said it's cheap. Uh, is how it's being described. <laughs> uh, so it's the Escalonia yeah, that the we up. are looking at, which is beautiful. Now, why is it too cheap? OK, well, um, I'm sure Stuart will let us have a little look on the website, but we can really, um, we can highlight the value of this one for you. So Escalonia, first of all, let's tell you about the plant. It's amazing. It's evergreen. It's beautiful. So evergreen is really valuable to have in your borders, you know, in your garden, because obviously we have deciduous plants. We have herbaceous plants. If you've got too many of those over the winter you can't your garden can look a bit bare and dull and Absolutely. boring so wonderful to have evergreen in your garden this is it it's glossy it's beautiful it's evergreen you get lovely panicle shaped flowers on here there's lovely panicle. ice cream yeah it's that shape it's that ice cream cone oh, right. that ice cream cone shape of flowers on here and hundreds of flowers per um panicle as well pollinators adore it the royal horticultural society gave it their badge of perfect for pollinators bees butterflies are going to have an absolute just field day in here mm. it's really easy to care for it grows neatly as well so it doesn't require loads of attention from you when it comes to trimming and shaping it's just really not that demanding at all so year-round interest lush evergreen beautiful flowers incredibly reliable and floriferous a fantastic fantastic plant to have in your garden whether you're putting it into a border or into a pot as a feature plant nice and slow growing doesn't take over can reach at full height and it'll take several years to get there three or four feet Amazing. Now let's talk about that value. Uh, and it's in, uh, it's in a two litre pot, so it's a nice it's a uh, established uh, plant, isn't it? But if you went over to the website, Bex, yeah. what you would find, of course, is what can we, what can we track down? So there? on the website, you can get a nine centimetre Escalonia. Five star review. Lovely. Can in you a see nine that? Centimetre. Look, it is £12.99. So the one we're bringing you is a two litre pot. That one is a nine centimetre pot so it's obviously a much smaller mm. less established plant this one is ours two ah. litre pot nine pounds and 99 pence How so please amazing. make sure you're entering the correct item code five one zero five four five get the right one because yes. this is why we're in trouble our commercial director is telling us off for having this plant at this price i would say to our commercial commercial director don't panic all <laughs> You like that one, don't you? 
Brilliant. Well I, 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 I've been hanging on to that since the start of this show, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, they are panicking in the uh, in the office. Yeah. But uh, it's beautiful. It, it is. is a glorious, glorious um, flower that you've got there. I just love it. Again, love the mix of the, the flowers and the foliage together with this one. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. You know, that evergreen, I think, is... I, I, I just keep banging on about evergreen. Obviously, deciduous plants can be quite valuable, you know, particularly if you're planting in front of a, a window, for example. Yeah. Because actually having it deciduous just means you're letting more light into your home during the winter months. But I have got a garden that's filled with, because I love aces and stuff like that, mm. I've got loads of deciduous plants. So I've got too many deciduous, I've got too many herbaceous. I need to mix in some more evergreen. And this is where something like the Escalonia is really going to help you because this is the worst it ever looks. Mm. And it looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it really All does. All year round, you're going to have that beautiful uh, green glossy leaves. And then you can see all those buds coming through. It's loads really of fresh starting. growth as well yeah. right, on the front of there as well you can see can't you there it's pretty you can see just how much glorious uh, growth you've got on there it will focus we are, our cameraman's having an off day hey. there we are uh, look at that absolutely stunning there we go. It's really pretty, honestly. It's just so easy to look after. Not fussy on soil type. Very easy to sort of prune. You might want a dead head after flowers fade just to help to encourage more to come through. But ultimately grows really nice and neat. Glorious. 510545 is your item number then. On though, uh, <laughs> an, an, oh, no, anem anemone. 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 I say blander. something else, which it completely <laughs> is not. It's quite rude. Uh, anemone, anemone, yeah. blander. <laughs> I adore this. So Why is I... it so hard to say? Because <laughs> you can say anemone or an enemy. Yeah. Or Which something else. <laughs> I went on a little dog walk the other day, Monday. It was right. a glorious day. Took my dog out, did the nice. long walk along the riverbank and all the way back lovely. through. And then there was, there was this house that I stopped at and it's got these lovely tall trees in the front garden. And underneath the tall trees were these gorgeous blue, lilac-y, white, daisy-type flowers. And I, it made me stop. It made me stop and smile and look at them. I adored seeing these. And in fact, a lady drove up into that and I was like, excuse me, do you live here? She, th she must have thought I was crazy. <laughs> She's like, no, it's my daughter's house. But I stopped and had a chat with her because I, I'm sure it was the anemone blander that was pl right. uh, planted under that tree. And it just looked so super pretty. And that's what you get with anemones. They love that kind of woodland setting, dappled shade, underplanted around trees. They multiply as well over the years, so you'll get this lovely carpet of colour going on. They're flowering around now, so right. they start in around early March time. They keep going into April. Um, so if we're gonna, okay to get them in the ground now? You're are absolutely we? okay to get them in the ground now. I'm, I'm going to suggest they're not going to flower for you now and right, this year. They course. might come up, you might get a few little flowers from it this year, but you're planting these for next year. Brilliant. And it's, this is the thing with gardening yes sometimes once we get into the summer we're planting for instant effect you know summer bedding and things like that it gives us an instant impact but as gardeners we're always forward planning we're forward planning to the next season and the next season what can look good in our gardens in several months time and that's what you'll be doing with your anemones it is a buy one get one free so there are 75 bulbs but 150 if you enter the code because we will put another bag in of course for you we will. very kind like that we aren't are. we now you might be thinking, oh, 150 bulbs, that's a lot to plant. I was actually just getting, a, what I was oh. thinking in my head was, surely we're not saying 150 bulbs, and I was thinking, how can we send a bag with 37 and a half bulbs in? I was thinking you got <laughs> the buy one, got one, got you 75 for a minute, but no, no 150. 150 in total here. So you can see the size that they're talking about. They're not huge bulbs at all. So these are going to be really easy for you to plant out. They don't need to be planted too deep at all. We're talking one to two inches plant depth. You're going to dig a hole, basically, and plant multiples in. So I would probably dig a hole and put 30 or 40 okay, into perfect. one hole. So these are going to be very quick and easy to plant out. We don't need to worry about planting these too close together then, no? No, because they're nice and compact. You know, they reach about 10 centimetres in height. You get a little bit of spread, 10 to 15 centimetres. So you really don't need to worry too much at all. I would plant multiples into one hole, create those lovely pockets of colour that will then naturalise and gradually spread, creating a nice carpet. A real garden workhorse, this, because you get multiple flowers and of course they naturalize over time as well.
glorious, aren't they? 630244, if you want those. Uh, 75 are going to cost you 999 unless you've got the code in. So please make sure you put YGTV1024 uh, into the promo code box and we will uh, instantly add those in there. You could also go for the strawberry runners as well because you're only gonna pay an extra two pounds postage and 99p. So for, 10, uh, for 299, you would get uh, your strawberry runners. Remember, if you're spending over £40, as so many of you do in these shows, to unlock that free postage, they're going to cost you 99 pence, aren't yes, they? Yes, for 10 Cambridge favourite strawberry runners. Now, each one of these plants, once it gets established, can create up to a pound, so about four, 500 grams of fruit Brilliant. per plant, and there's 10 of them included in here. Strawberry runners do last you for several years as well. You know, you get not four or five years out of a strawberry wow. runner plant. So four or five years of strawberry production first year you will get fruits so you'll plant these now first year you will get strawberries you'll get a decent amount of strawberries years two and three are the real heavy strawberry production right, years and then they start to fade off a little bit but the beautiful thing is once you've got a strawberry plant you don't really have to ever buy a new one because strawberry plants throw out runners okay. and those runners you can then create new strawberry plants do you from. need to do anything with the runners in order to cultivate them um, well so what you can do is you can leave the runner attached to the plant and mm -hmm. you could put maybe a, a, a pot underneath the runner. So will and the runner then it will, will come out of the, the pot, will it? Yeah, because they, right. they, what the plant is doing, it's trying to reach to then root in other places. Right. It's trying to spread. So it'll send a runner out and then the runner will root wherever it lands. Right. So if you were to put a pot with compost in it underneath that runner, it will naturally then root into that pot. Once it's rooted, you can then cut it off and Brilliant. then you've, you've got a brand new strawberry plant. I love that. I or you can that. just cut the runners and then put it into a pot and it will root and it will grow again. Right. So you can always have Perpetual, a constant... Gonna sort of yeah, always, perpetual. You're going to always have Absolutely. strawberries. And strawberries are my, like, the th I think they're the most delicious thing they in the are, world. They are, the best, strawberry. aren't they? Especially in, you know, in the summer when they're in season because they... They're sweeter. They taste so like, they taste like the kind of, you know those, <laughs> they remind me this time of the year, it's those yellow cloths you wash your car with, for just texture, there's nothing <laughs> in there whatsoever. But in the summer, they are so delicious. And when you grow your own, you know, the way nature has intended it, and what I mean by that is that, you know, you're not sort of putting loads of pesticides no, on. No, absolutely. They're not hanging around for weeks in packaging, you know, with sort of special gases in there to keep them fresh. They are literally from the plant, to your mouth, from mine, plant to palate. Mine very rarely make it in the house, basically. Mm. When I'm out in the summer and I'm, I'm pottering around in the garden and the strawberries one. are growing, I just go and I'm just eating them straight from the plants. Yeah, amazing. And the, the thing is, I feel like, you know, pick your own used to be a, a big thing. Oh, yeah. But it's, I don't see it anymore. No. I mean, you used to see it all the time, you know, on the sides of roads or, you know, A roads and stuff. I don't see it around anymore. So if you want to grow your own, pick your own, eat your own, Oh, and I'm just thinking about eating mess in the summer now. Is what I'm I know, thinking about right? with those homemade fresh strawberries in there. Uh, three two zero zero two four. If you want to grab a hold of those ninety nine pence, uh, if you're putting them in your basket with anything else, you will have to pay the postage, by the way. Uh, but if you're already paying, you know, postage on something else, chances are you'll be paying that postage or a little bit less. So you top it up, or you spend over forty pounds, and then the postage is also free on those and everything else in your basket. Right, it, the Crocosmia yes. uh, was in our top three plants of the show yesterday. Why was this one so popular, base? Well, because, well, I think, first of all, great value. You can double up and you can Absolutely. get uh, 100 corms here um, for £14.99. pence. Wowzer, that's quite amazing. But I think it's because they are ridiculously hardy, for starters. Being a South African native, you kind of think, oh, maybe this is going to need a bit, bit of protection, you know, mm. best grown in a pot so I can move it indoors. Not a problem at all. This is winter hardy and ridiculously winter hardy as well. We are talking probably down to minus 10, minus 20 on wow. these, which I just think is crazy for something that's a South African native. Super interesting flowers as well. You get these, so you get lovely sort of strappy sword-like foliage from here. But then what you get are these lovely arching stems of flowers on here. And they're in those hot colors as well, aren't they? The bright oranges and the bright reds and yellows. 
Look, I mean, that display is gorgeous. And I love how the flowers open in succession along there. So it's not like you get one flower, boom, you know, a bit like a lily, love them. One flower, boom, great, but you're done after mm. that. Those flowers open in succession and you get a decent flowering season from here as well in the summertime. So, you know, a good seven, eight weeks worth of flowering here, July into August time. They do form clumps as well. So we would call them semi-vigorous plants. You know, their, their clump formation is quite amazing, which means that you can divide these, you can move them around your garden. They have that lovely sort of cottage garden feel to them as well. So if you've got one of those um, at borders where you've got a whole mixture of loads, I love that. I yeah, love that really kind of mishmash kind yeah. of look. You can create that with Crocosmia here as well. I, I just think they're, they're easy to grow. Um, a perennial coming back for you year after year. They work in borders, they also work in pots, and they're just so hardy and easy to grow. That's Brilliant. why they've been one of the most popular. Yeah, I'm definitely gorgeous. going to plant some this year. Absolutely gorgeous, and they are brilliant value. So you will get what 100 here yeah. for 14.99, which is absolutely brilliant value. Um, make sure you are going for those. Uh, they are just glorious, aren't yeah. they? Two for 14.99. So if you were in the club, then they would become what 13.50 there or thereabouts yeah, for uh, 100. Brilliant value. Really lovely. They remind me. I mean, they are in no way the same as a bird of paradise. I think in the way that the, the flower bends yeah. and then the shoots come uh, away from it. I think they're going to create real interest for you in your garden. 630234 is your item number. Honestly, put down your secretaires because this next item it is going to blow your mind when it comes to uh, yeah. the value that we have got for you. It is your three, so your summer, your, oh, I'm so excited, I can't get it out. <laughs> Super summer bulb collection we're talking about. Yep. 300 bulbs in seven varieties here. Yeah. Look at that. It so saves taken, you 18 pounds. I can't believe the amount of flowers you'll get from this. So many Can flowers. you even begin to imagine? Seven different varieties. I'll run you through all of those. We've taken all the bulbs out of the bag so that you can see them, but they do come in separate bags that are labelled so you know Brilliant. exactly which one is which when you get them home. They all have planting instructions on there as well. But we're talking about seven different varieties over those 300 bulbs that are going to give you months of colour, starting from probably in end of May, early June time, right the way through to October, maybe even into November as well. They will all naturalise as well. They will multiply. They will transform your garden. They will give you cut flower displays displays as well. There's a variety of colour, a variety of shapes, a variety of heights included here too. If you want to transform an area in your garden and get months of colour, this is a really, really cost effective way of doing it. That's the Acidanthera, one of the later flowering ones. We've got the Freesia included in there as well. Beautiful fragrance. Allium Molly, absolutely gorgeous, upright yellow sparkler flowers. Allium Neapolitanum, these both reach about 40, 50 centimetres. I love these. The Liatra Spicola. Carter. They're just so unusual. Brody ear, lovely short. They're, they're also named cluster lilies. Mm. Uh, Gladioli again. I think we've gone around the whole circle there. Amazing, but 300 of those included across those seven different varieties. And about four pence a bulb is just, just amazing value. Isn't it? Amazing. The, the long ones, the purple ones, they look like sort of the garden variety of a, the garden version of a feather duster. Yeah. That's what they remind <laughs> yeah. me of. I like the idea of putting the Liatris spicata. I think the the Atra Spicata and the Acidanthera are going to work beautifully together, a similar flowering um, time. And I just think the height and shape and the colour combination of those two together will be incredible. Mm. But listen, it's entirely up to you. That's just my serving suggestion. Absolutely glorious, aren't they? It's your super summer bulb collection here. 300 bulbs, seven varieties, saves you £18. £10.79 if you're in the club. You, I would be, dub I would be doubling up, be multi-ordering yeah. here on these if you want to create some amazing you know you've got a big section of your garden that maybe you've got nothing in at the moment or you're in a new garden you're thinking right what am i going to do to fill all that space these are going to do that for you yeah definitely and this year as well beautiful aren't they
There they are. Uh, right, we're going to move on to, it's our sweet pea, patio perfect, yeah. which we love. Sweet pea are, they're a, they're a legend of the garden, aren't they? Totally. Glorious fragrance too. Um, but these ones, they look beautiful. They look, I mean, they look like they're ready to burst into action, Bex, don't they? They really are. So these have been sown and grown on for you. Okay, so I'm growing some garden sweet pea ready. seeds. Garden ready. That means that they've been grown on and they are ready for your garden. Right, now, is your garden? Ready. Well, potentially not. Right. This very much depends on where you live, what kind of weather you are expecting. Sweet peas can withstand a little bit of frost. Okay. What they can't withstand is prolonged periods of frost. So this very much depends on where you live and what kind of weather we are expecting. I would suggest, I'm not ready to plant anything out yet, personally. So I would suggest get them home, get them pl planted into pots, into baskets, whatever it is you want. Maybe just keep them in a frost-free location for the time being, but give them that head start, get them okay. planted to give them that head start to give you the longest flowering season. What I do want to point out to you is that it's, this is not just a one seed. This is a multi-sown plug. As you can see there, there are several seeds. We say four minimum, but this one, one, two, three, four, five. There's definitely so five, whopper, if not six or seven seeds that have gone into there. Look at the quality of the roots that you can see on here. White, fibrous roots, absolutely healthy plants. These are ready to give you some great displays this year. Now, Patio Perfect is fantastic for anyone that's got you know, maybe a smaller space, or they don't mm. want a great big climbing variety of sweet peas. These don't get massive. We're only talking maybe a couple of feet. Height if you want them as a climber, or drop if you want them as a, um, like in your hanging basket right. or maybe in pots and things if you want to that they would look great in the boxwood planters tumbling over course, the edges they, they would look fantastic in a hanging basket as well because they will gently trail for you we also have um, our eclipse planters if you want them to gently sort of climb as well so we, there are options for you with the sweet pea patio perfects you will get fragrance you will get color you'll be able to get cut flowers from these it is quite important that you deadhead regularly though okay because what that will do is it was it will encourage more flowers to come through what you don't want it to do is to um seed basically because right. then, then it goes oh i've done my job i don't All need to over. carry on i'm yep. finished now i'm gonna go to sleep so you do want to deadhead as regularly as possible but that helps for you uh, bringing in cut flowers so you're you're naturally deadheading by doing that and these are the eclipse planters if you fancy going for these these were really popular for us last week amazing and, and these are also free those if you're going for the sweet uh, if you're going for the eclipse you want to go for those buy one get one there so uh 26 uh, 25 centimeter square pot with a 60 centimeter trellis mm -hmm. uh 9.99 should get you one however you'd put one in your basket along with the code and you'll get two of them which yes. is glorious isn't it i'll give you the details as well for the sweet peas too because they i know they're going to be super popular um they are just such an incredible uh, they're just a they're just a real classic staple, aren't they? And if you're going for those, it's 20 garden-ready plants that you've got there, saving you nine pounds. Quick question from me on yes. these. So when you um, showed us it as a, a plant, the roots on there, yeah. do you need to sort of spread it or loosen it off in yeah. any way or do you just plant to that as is into your soil so just looking at this particular one so you can see that the roots are nice and sort of strong at the bottom here mm. it's not what you'd call root bound it's not it's not starting to circle right. around when you start seeing roots going in a circle mm. like this then it is important to gently Tease what i tend apart. to do is squeeze right i squeeze them can you see how that moves uh, the roots yeah. And what that does is it just encourages the roots then when you plant it out to, to go get, get in those again. directions right. rather than continue going round and round in a circle. Yeah. So that's all you need to do with them. But it very much depends on what the roots look like when you take it out of the pot. I'm only asking because I've got to repot some of my house plants this week and I was thinking, do I leave them or do I yeah. sort of manipulate them a bit? I find the squeezing method mm. tends to be the one that doesn't damage them as much. And yeah. I can see those are starting to poke out. Sometimes you do just gently need to just because you don't want to break the roots right. you just want to tease them out slightly and by doing that it just then encourages those roots to go in whatever direction you're put they're pointing in brilliant uh 410190 is item number if you want to grab those 1698 that saves you nine pounds and even more of course if you are in the club right let's recap then if you uh, haven't been with us since the start of the show where have you been honestly you've got to get here on time uh but maybe you nodded off i hope you didn't uh or maybe you just went and got a cup of tea let's give you a recap <laughs> of everything uh, you've seen so far 
are. Uh, don't miss these. These are the biggest deal of the week. Well, of the week, we say that, of these two days really, because um, if we sell as many of these today as we did yesterday, they will not be here for Sunday, which was the plan. Um, I can see why uh, it is, let's just change those details for you. Uh, it is your buy one, get one on the Boxwood Acorn Planter, uh, 33 centimeters in diameter. One should be 18.99. Now I'm not a mathematician, but I think that means that they should be, what, 37.98 to get both of them? Uh, however, no. No, 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 no. 14.99 gets you both of them here. A lot, as long as you're using that code, YGTV1024, of course. Um, and if you're going for those, look, 6.99 postage there, add your strawberries in, they're gonna cost you 99 pennies, which I think is glorious. Amazing, aren't they? 320-024 for the strawberries. Standard, we got standard. Uh, it's the standard lilacs uh, we are looking at next. Thank you for that little chuckle, Bex. Uh, 510, nothing from Stu, tough crowd today. Uh, 510317 uh, it is your lilac that we are looking at here, Syringa. Uh, sounds like a sort of character in a ninja film, Syringe, Syringe of the Ninja. Um, these are beautiful, 90 to 120 centimetres tall, 30 pounds each would be good value. It's a double up deal, two in your basket becomes 39.99, which is glorious. Just of course, make sure you are using that code. Really lovely balls of colour, which are going to give you very, very fragrant uh, flowers too. Uh, right, let's move on to our Plum Duo. Uh, this is a bre a, this is a bare root tree, but it's one tree that is going to grow two different varieties for you. So you've got your Victoria Plum and your Zar Plum. The Zar Plum is that really lovely deep purple plum. Um, both of these great for eating or for cooking with, of course. Um, these would go great into our heavy duty pots, remember also. 15 pounds you save but it's, it's it boggles my mind this is one tree that is going to grow two different varieties of plum for you on the one tree it is on uh, that dwarf root stock as well so it means that it's not gonna get too big for you which is glorious if you uh, 300066 for those if you want the heavy duty pots and we've also got those for you too here they are they are a staple now we've got a winner on the pot uh, situation situation. Um, Penny's got 22 of these heavy duty pots in their garden. Um, always great to have a few of these spare. Grab them whilst they are on a postage included deal for you. Uh, they work out five pounds each. Great, great value. Um, right, let's move on to Crocosnia is what we are. Crocosmia even is what we're looking at here. It's a double up deal. Super, super, super hardy, these ones. Um, and nice because they are hardy, but they look tropical, which doesn't always go hand in hand, but it does here with these. Really interesting to look at. Beautiful abundance of color they are going to uh, produce for you. We've also got the winter jasmine. These ones are the nudie florums. These are going to flower over the winter for you, which is, it means that, you know that bit of time in your garden where maybe it's just looking a bit dull and a bit lifeless? Not these, no, these will be bursting into color for you. Um, they do climb as well. It's a 60 centimeter cane that you're getting here in a two liter pot, which is glorious. Nine pounds 99 if you want to get your hands on those. Uh, we have another climber for you as well. It's the honeysuckle. And what a beautiful looking flower that is. A really lovely combination of colors. I love the difference in color that you're getting in each one of the flowers. So from that deep, deep red uh, in the center, it moves out into those sort of burgundies and then the peaches and, and the very lovely sort of violets that you've got in there too. Just, just glorious. 550331 saved you two pounds. Let's do the pink L. 
really beautiful. $9.99. Um, uh, this is brilliant. I'll try and remember my joke. Panicle. That's it. They're having a panicle in the finance department about this. Uh, over the price. It should not be this price. It is brilliant value. Uh, $9.99 is your price on this. In a two lead support. It's evergreen. Those wonderful panicle shaped flowers. Yay. Uh, 510545 is your item number there on that one. Let's uh, also go back to that summer collection of bulbs. Unbeatable value as far as I'm concerned. You save 18 pounds when you're spending 12 pounds buying a penny here. It is amazing value for money. 630130 is your item number there. Right. Oh, the Majestic Lilies. It is your buy one, get one free, of course. Um, you need to put one of these in your basket alongside that code, YGTV1024, and we will uh, send you another one, which is glorious, isn't it? You get 20 bulbs in there, 50 pence a bulb, to grow this iconic flower. They are an absolute, they're an icon and a diva, uh, these Majestic majestic Lilies. 650134 is your item number there for that one. Uh, if you've got any questions, please get in touch with us in the chat, wherever you're watching, on YouTube or Facebook. Also remember, I'm a bit I'm a bit sad. I need to have a word with you. <laughs> We've had no emails this I morning. Know. Not a single one. Please send us no, an email. Please e send us an email. <laughs> Stu's lonely in the potty in the shed. In, in the potty shed room. shed. Potty, in the potty shed potty shed. Shirts. He's uh, lonely. He is indeed. Um, I'd love to see some pictures of your gardens. I would. Yeah. I'd love to know what's been going on. You were saying about what you've been up to in your garden this week. Show us in a picture what you've been up to in your garden. Details are here on the bottom of your screen. YGTV at yougarden.com if you want to send them over to us. Right. We are going to move on to uh, something that I... <laughs> I'm, it's blown my mind, this. It is your pineapple guava. Yes. I had never heard of a pineapple guava. Now, either as a plant or as a fruit. Yeah. This is like a two-for-one, really, this, isn't uh, it? This one is just incredible, actually, I think, because this is an evergreen beauty, lovely, upright, sort of upwards growth that you get on here. So lovely, glossy, evergreen uh, leaves on here. But what you also get in around May and June time are some of the most flamboyant, beautiful, exotic-looking flowers on here that are then followed later on, end of the summer, early, autumn between August and October you get these lovely kind of egg shaped green fruits on here nice. that are edible that you can use you can eat them straight from the plant I'm or you can they taste like I know those. I've never grown it I've never tried it myself but you can eat them fresh from the tree or you can bake them into pies and crumbles and things as well it's self fertile mm. so you don't need to worry about that kind of um, issue here at all you can grow it in borders quite happily um, but I would suggest that it is particularly suited to growing in a large pot even though it is it's what we call semi hardy winter hardy down to probably about minus four minus five degrees it would be really good if you um, uh, grow it in a pot just so that you can think about if it needs that bit of extra protection you can move it indoors obviously there's things you can do to protect it if you are growing it in borders there's fleeces and you know horticultural fleeces and things that you can use um, uh, but yes I, I think if you've got the space to grow it in a pot and be able to move it that would be great but see those amazing flowers that you've got mm, here. Even if you're not interested beautiful. in the fruits, you can leave the fruits. The birds can eat the fruits. But those flowers, I just think, are super, super pretty. I, I don't know where it sort of comes from originally. South this America. South America, is it? I just feel like, looking at the pictures of the fruit, I feel like I've eaten them before. I just don't know where. Yeah. Or, but I, I was about to say, is it, was it, uh, is it, in my head, it was a Asian. I don't know why. But I feel like in Asia, I may have eaten those fruits. Yeah. But I don't know where, and I can't remember what they taste well, like. It's native to South America. Whether it grows elsewhere or yeah. not, I don't know. I haven't looked. Um, but it might it might grow in other How, places as I well. I just love seeing anything, really, not just in the garden, but anywhere.
where that's really interesting and different yeah. and is a bit of a talking point. And I think this is definitely going to be that, isn't it? it did you say it was evergreen as well? Evergreen, this one? yeah. Brilliant. So it's so always I mean, it going to look glorious like this, like this isn't yeah. it? Now it, it'll grow semi big as well. We are talking potentially up to six feet in height. Ultimately, is the growth that this can get to. It can spread a little bit as well, so it can spread by up to that much too. So if you are planting it out into a border, a nice sheltered spot maybe, mm. um, you will have an absolutely fantastic display from it. It does want a decent sunny position. I think you can imagine that from the flowers and the fruits that you're going to get here. You do want a decent amount of sun on it in order to have that flower and fruit production. But it would be a fantastic plant to have in a border somewhere, wouldn't it? Would, it would, wouldn't it? Because let's face it, fruit trees usually look like this. Yeah, <laughs> and they are, the, do you know what? I mean, they are so functional, but they're a bit boring, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. When you compare to this, which is evergreen, yeah. flowers, and then fruits for you too. Yeah, and that actually, I'm just looking at the price because I was thinking, you know what, I need to try something a little bit different in my garden this mm. year. Like, you know, you've got your firm favourites and that's great. We definitely want to have our firm favourites. But I also, I want to try a few new and different things. Uh, and at that price, great, I can afford it? to try something a bit new and different. Yeah, because you're getting it for 13 49 because you're club in member. the club, of course. Make sure you join the club if you want to get uh, the extra discounts. Um, 680146. It's really piqued my imagination, yeah, that one. I love it isn't it? Beautiful really flowers cool. as well. 680146. If you want to get that one, it's our Salix Flamingo. Now, you're going to need to use your imagination you here with this one. It's fair to, to say. But future you is going to thank you for this, aren't Absolutely. They, now, Salix the Flamingo is just starting to wake up. I've got an established Salix Flamingo in my garden. It was there before I moved in. I've lived in that house for just over nine years now. So it's it's many years old. Uh, it's a Salix Flamingo bush, just like this one. But it has been sort of fashioned into a tree shape now, which I have helped it on its way to do that. Nice. It looks beautiful. And it is just starting to wake up. We're just starting to get the love new buds and green growth that are appearing on there and the salix flamingo really is in the summertime it is incredible it looks like it looks like a firework display because i mean look at how that grows you get this lovely kind of dense very variegated green foliage in the center but then you get these lovely pink edges uh, to it as well which is obviously what it's called the flamingo you get that lovely soft pink color going on with it they are so hardy, they are so easy to grow. They're proper survivors. I'm a survivor. Uh, you can't kill these things. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I mean, they are they are just really, really easy, really hard, easy to they? look after. And they pretty much do their thing. You don't have to do too much to them. I prune mine once a year. I let it do its thing, basically, all the way through the summer. Um, I actually tend to prune mine at the end of the summer you know so um, you know once the leaves and everything start to drop off there that's when I go and I give it a lovely prune and a nice. shape uh, and then it just sits like that over the winter and now it is really starting to burst into life and all summer long it looks absolutely incredible so it can get nice and big if you want it to we are talking two two and a half meters I mean mine is yeah, I mean it's a good wow, it's over big. two meters tall. I have to get I have to get up on a step to be able to trim the yeah. top of it. But you can prune it back. You can keep it in check. You can keep it in shape if you want to. You could even grow this in a decent sized pot as well if you want nice. to, and really restrict that shape of it. Uh, the, the thing about this is that I love that if you can get it in this form, mm -hmm. use a bit of imagination. You'll thank yourself because it's only twelve ninety nine when you buy it like this. Yeah, and I think you know, as gardeners, you know, when we're buying things and putting a little bit of effort into them it's really helping the wallet I isn't it? I always talk about planting a promise we're planting a promise that. and that is what you're getting here because it, it I mean it is a promise of it becoming absolutely amazing and it's winter hardy as well so it has our lifetime guarantee if it doesn't do what I say it's going to do you just need to let us know and we will replace it for you. Always glorious. It will five, do by the way. 510919 uh, 1169 if you are in the club we're going to come back to the pineapple pineapple guava oh I kicked the bucket. Uh, Stop kicking uh, the bucket. Uh, our mate Adam. Oh Adam oh. my my brother in clay soil. Oh, your brother, your brother in clay soil. He thought. Oh, he, he thought, thought it had died. But it's mm. back. It's coming it's back. back. Is he sending us pictures? Are you going to show us? Adam. 
Send Could you send picture. us a picture, please? He does send Adam. us lots of pictures. Um, if you can. So Adam. he thought it was dying, so like maybe the leaves had started to come off. Yeah. Would that be? Well, I mean, it's, it's supposed. It, it is supposed to be evergreen, but obviously we do need to think about that winter hardiness of right. it. Winter hardy down to about minus five. So if it so has had a bit of frost, left it out, and it, it maybe the frost, frost damage, it. it might have suffered a little bit. But yeah, I mean, his has come back, so beautiful, mm. lovely. If you can send us a picture, Adam, we'd appreciate it. Is it going it. to keep this sort of shape? Do you think? It should so it's do. Gonna well, grow no, out it's going to spread but it does have an upwards growth sort nice. of habit to it. But That's it's nice and lovely. thick and bushy, so you do a little it? bit of underplanting? Uh, while you, you could, while absolutely. You're not going to put this in, would you put it in the ground or you just protect it with something? Yeah, so okay. if you're going to put it in the ground and you do want to look after it, you can get like horticultural fleece. Your mulch will help to protect it. If you can put it in a slightly more sheltered location, that will mm. also help to protect it as well. Lots There's lots of things you can do. You can you do. Put it in the ground. And yeah, you could underplant it, probably with something that doesn't mind a bit of shade, like our Primula ballerinas. Nice. Uh, 680146 is your item number there if you want to go for uh, that one we are going that, Over this way. that way yeah uh, we are going to nandina firepower yeah a firm favorite this. here at you guys it really is and a favorite amongst our customers as well and easy to see well look at how the, the glorious color isn't it beautiful that we're getting on these leaves and they they feel a little bit unusual as well don't they well the so it's known as sacred bamboo or heavenly bamboo and i think that's to do with i mean it makes a lovely sound when it's moving. Sound lovely in the wind wouldn't it? It, it honestly it's got real lovely sound to it but there's nothing bamboo about it i know bamboo can strike fear into the hearts of gardeners particularly if you're planting it out into borders and things it's not invasive like bamboo can be not at all this in fact stays incredibly compact um it only reaches about two i mean maximum two feet height okay. and spread here so i've got mine in a pot and i think it's beautiful growing is it in a one pot. of those that's going to go absolutely berserk if we put it in the ground no okay no it will brilliant. always stay nice and compact and often when you see a plant turn these lovely fiery orange beautiful shades you think okay it's getting ready to drop its leaves right that does not happen with nandina this is what i call a true multi-season feature plant and by that what i mean is several things first of all you get lovely in the in the summertime in the warmer months you get this lovely green growth on here and some of it i'm going to turn it around because it's really green around this side look how you've got this lovely lime green luscious green growth on here but then you're getting into the oranges and the umbers and the nice. reds as i turn this around now it does this with the changing temperatures it has this color changing quality so as we get into colder months it goes to the reds and the oranges but it doesn't drop the leaves then when we go into the warmer months it moves back through those shades of green we also get white flowers in spring they're lovely little star-shaped white flowers then later on we get red berries on here as well so when I say a multi-season feature plant this one truly truly is it's what our head gardener calls tough as old boots nice because it can cope with minus 20 to plus 40 degree wow. temperatures this really doesn't mind it is really genuinely tough as old boots and it's not fussy about the soil types as well so it'll grow well in most soil types i personally think it looks great in a pot um in fact the boxwoods that would look amazing just because the color combination that you've got going on here Look at the colour combo with oh, the lovely. red and that lovely peachy tones around there. That would look absolutely fantastic in the boxwood plants. But you could plant this out into a border as well because it's got the evergreen, ever red nature to it. If you mix it into your borders where you've got herbaceous or, or um, deciduous plants, you will always have something to look at in that area of the garden. Really glorious. It's got sort of a lovely shine to it as lovely, well, which isn't is beautiful. It? 33 centimetres in diameter. 14.99. That would be good value because you get a £4 discount if you were just getting one. But of course, if you're putting the code in, which you absolutely should be at all times, YGTV1024, you will get a second one. We'll add that automatically to your order for you. You're paying $6.99 postage, which is good. But what that also means then is if you're putting the strawberries in, they will only be 99 pence extra. Yeah, for which 10 is strawberry runners. For all those 10 runners, which is wonderful. You'll only ever pay the highest PMP. So if you've got $6.99 PMP, anything else in that you're putting in is, is going to essentially be free postage, which is brilliant. Ooh, Alan has sent a picture of his guava. Yes, I'd love to see Alan's guava. Let's have a look, Adam. Adam, Adam. I don't know why Adam. Alan, sorry. Oh my word, oh which my. one? Okay, I've got to come around. Look at this garden. I know. I, I don't think Honestly. I've seen this before. I love seeing pictures of people's gardens. They are incredible. Right, where is the pineapple guava? 
Oh my word, I haven't got a is clue. It, it's not the middle centre, is it? Maybe, maybe, it actually, that, yes, it is, isn't log. it? Yes, it Check must be, because it's got that lovely upright growth yeah. to it. You're right, it's that one. Just in the middle at the front, in between the two logs. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Your fatinia is looking amazing. Mm. Oh, my fatinia is looking gorgeous at the moment as well. And that's his, um, on the left here, Joe, we were talking about the mimosa. Oh, uh, yeah. Adam's got the mimosa growing as well. Nice. Looks yeah, quite it's well established at the back. At the most, oh, isn't it? I love it. That looks like a really inviting garden. Does, Adam. doesn't it? Beautiful. Good. I'm glad that your pineapple guava is coming back. That looks brilliant. It's funny, isn't Sorry, it? Sorry, I had to come around the front so I could look at all She's the. Gone, I can see it from here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you wear your glasses. Uh, I true. Won't wear That's mine. actually a really good point. Uh, six eight zero one four six <laughs> is your item number. You want to go for the pineapple? Pineapple. The pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple guava. guava. Uh, <laughs> For any New York gardeners that are joining us, <laughs> so you could join us from anywhere in the world. Somebody if you was want to watching do. us from. Who was watching us yesterday? They were watching. JC was watching from Georgia. As in in Eastern Europe or in the US? Oh, that's a good point. In the US, Georgia. 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 No, let's not do the accent. Uh, oh, yes, Georgian peaches. I've never tried a Georgian peach. Oh, thanks One day. for joining us, JC. It's uh, nice yeah. to have. Uh, if you Lots are watching from anywhere else that's not in the UK, do let us know, <laughs> either via email. Um, I've played this at previous channels, and it is... I always have people from the Philippines, really? Malta, oh. straight all over the place. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't send plants to you overseas, no. unfortunately. But if you're just watching for gardening knowledge yeah. and a bit of entertainment, and the terrible then jokes, why not? Then, yeah, we've got you, don't you worry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching from, some, from somewhere that's not the UK, let us know in the chat or, or pop us an email. Uh, it's ygtv at yougarden.com if you want to send those. My favourite, favourite, I think favourite <laughs> like thing, this, my, they're my favourite flower and I think they are also my favourite variety of the yeah. flower. So therefore, by process of elimination, they are Total my favourite thing that we sell here at you Garden TV is the skyscraper. I'm really. excited about skyscrapers. Look at the value, look at it. Look at it. Uh, look, look at, at the value, 14 95 I to get know. these. These lower than they used to be. I'm sure we were doing these at a price before. Forty pounds and ninety-five pence. Value. Twenty-five bulbs. Each one of these bulbs is going to turn into a tree lily. What do I mean by tree lily, Joe? A lily that's like a tree. A lily that's like a tree. Absolutely. We are talking. Uh, six feet in height, mm. once it's established, six feet in height and 20 blooms approximately on each and every one of those bulbs. She's so happy with that plant, isn't I she? Want a top. I love that picture. Do I you? want her outfit, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's interesting. You're getting five different varieties included in here, okay? So there's the Saltarello, which is the apricot one, the nice. Amorossi, which is the wine red. That one is the Matisse, which has got that mm. cream-edged red to it. We've got the Manissa, which is the yellow one, and we've got the Rabina, which is the pink one one but five of each of those each one reaching six feet in height each one having 20 approximately blooms on them they are um, incredibly fragrant as well you've got vibrant color they've got lovely strong stems on here too so these shouldn't really need staking um, obviously think about where you're going to plant them you know a more sheltered location would be great if you've got a garden like Sean which is out in the countryside and blows a gale across your garden then yes potentially you're going to want to think about staking these but but I would try and pick a sunny, sheltered location and just sit back and wait for what is going to be an absolute thriller. We talk about thrillers and fillers. This is a thriller and right. is going to be for many, many years to come because it's winter hardy, it's perennial. You can cut the flowers and use them as cut flowers as well if you want to. I'm not sure I would want to do that with skyscrapers personally. I think they just need to stay in the garden and be want, that I just thriller. want to parade them around just the apartments. <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, just a, like a lily bearer. Like, yeah, I love that. I think they're fantastic. I grew loads of lilies last year. The garden was filled with lilies, pots and borders and everywhere, but I didn't grow the skyscrapers. So I've got a bag of Is the... Is Stu growing these or am I making this up? Stu has yeah, grown some Stu of these. Yeah, has grown yeah. some of these. Well, I've got a bag of the Matisse ones, which are those cream edge, these ones here. Uh, so I'm going to grow these in my garden this year. That is what the bulb looks like. A really strong, healthy bulb. You can see the oh, shoots wow. ready to come out already. It looks like a bit like a Jerusalem artichoke, It does it? a bit, doesn't it? So we're going to plant these, uh, and it does come with the instructions on the bag. So planting depth, three to four inches. Plant spacing, four to six inches. In the first year, we don't... They're not going to reach six feet in the first year. Okay. They need a little bit of time to establish 
but they should get up to three, four feet in height and have several flowers per, per bulb. But then as they establish over the years, my word, that is going to be the most incredible, incredible oh, here's the view. ones in shoes gone. Look at Gorgeous. those. Slightly different variety, but they did grow very tall. Do we need to deadhead these or what do we do when they no, have, so they're nice done? Lilies flower once. Right. So normally when you're deadheading something, you're encouraging more the plant to, to through, put yeah. more energy in and more to come through. Lilies flower once. And you should get, yeah, you know, a couple of weeks out of the flowers. Ooh. They're not the, the longest flowering season, but they are incredible, aren't they? Amazing. We talked about them being show-stopping beautiful I flowers. I think lilies for me up there with peonies mm. and roses, when they when they do bloom, you're just like, no, I mean, they're oh amazing. my God, yes. goodness. Yeah. Totally worth it, even if you think the flowering season is that bit shorter, yeah. because they really do put on a show, don't they? They do. They really do. Like you. Uh, oh, thanks. Put on a show. Babes. Making a show more like of myself <laughs> most of the time. 630-326 uh, is your item number if you want to go for those. 1495. Ooh, the stuff. Starfish is back. Yeah, I love these. This, I know we've done this previously. This doesn't look like a piece, a sort of sea alien almost, doesn't it? It looks like it lives at the bottom of the ocean, it does. doesn't it? It's, it's glorious. You know, it's called the starfish iris because it's got that wonderful starfish shape to it. The petals actually reflex as well, right. so they fold backwards. The pictures don't really show it too well, but yeah, they really do fold backwards, and I just think they're incredibly interesting. The colours, the markings on here, they're definitely in the weird and wonderful category, and I mean that as the biggest compliment ever. Um, they are a rare beauty. They're intricate. They're, they're slightly fragrant as well now they are half hardy so I'm gonna suggest because they will come back for you mm. after, you know they're a perennial I'm gonna suggest you grow them in pots okay. um, because that just makes it easier to to look after them over the winter months that's what I'm gonna do I am going to grow them in pots you get lovely sword strappy foliage on here and then these beautifully intricate and weird and wonderful flowers that come out of there only reaching about 40 centimeters in height spread okay. of about 15 centimeters so we are talking like a you know a um I was going to say petite beauty, I mean slender beauty. So if you're going for, and I really do recommend the double up deal here, maybe mm. the boxwood planter, I would put all six in one of those boxwood planters in a okay. 30 centimetre width pot. And that one pot will give you the most gorgeous display in midsummer, sort of June and July time, you'll get those flowers. Beautiful. I just Every element of this flower is really unusual. Yeah, and it'll multiply relatively quickly as well. So it will naturalise and it is one that will multiply quite quickly. So it does mean that you can divide those in in later years as well absolutely glorious aren't they uh, one of these for 9.99 we don't want to give you that because two of them becomes 14.98 rather than uh what 19.98 which is brilliant so make sure you are grabbing those 630.145 is your item number if you want to take advantage of those ones right we are going to premier la ballerina Prima ballerina. I was kind of just trying to do a ballerina move, but then I realised you could only see me from the from there. sort of <laughs> chest, chest up. up. No. We've got the Primula Ballerina mix here. Now it is a buy one, get one free. I've taken some out of the packet so you can see the glorious colours. I love this little peach one here. Look how cute that one is. Um, but you are getting one each of the six different varieties, but as it's a buy one, get one free, you will get two each of the six varieties. This is how they come to you in our greenhouses. The greenhouses are labelled. I just get the one that's labelled. Not that you really need it, because obviously they are all in flower, but they are labelled with the varieties on here, which marries up to the letters on there. So all you do is marry up the name to the oh, letter. So if you do want to know the names of the individual varieties and things like that, they are on there. But that's how they arrive to you, so that they get you in the best possible condition. Once you get them home, obviously they're going to have been in the dark, in a box for a few mm. days, in transit. So once you get them home, open them up, let them see some light, give them a little water and just let them sit on the side right. in a bit of light for a few hours and then you're ready to plant these out. The gorgeous thing about Primula Bellarina is that well you get a ver I mean, beautiful variety of colour. Some of them have the lovely markings on there as well rather than just a solid colour you've got a bi-colour going on. Nice. Lovely double blooms going on. They form clumps as well so that you can divide these clumps over time and what these give you are I mean they're great colour 
color in the garden from around January, February, right the way up to June time. So getting these now means that you will still have this color, excellent for underplanting around um, bushes and things because they don't mind a bit of shade. They're a woodland native, so they actually thrive in a bit of shade. So underplant your bushes, underplant your standards with these, um, but they will come back for you next year as well. So over the summer, they will die down, they won't flower, um, but then they'll come back for you and you can divide those clumps. And who doesn't want a free flower? That's Absolutely. what I love about clump forming plants. Really beautiful, aren't they? I love them. I just love them in this <laughs> as they are now. Aren't they coming pretty? out of the, the box, I think yeah, they're be beautiful. Honest, they do, they will stand up as flower displays just on their own. I know mm. I talked about under planting, but yeah. again, if you've got the boxwood planters, you could plant all six of those into one of those boxwood planters, plant the other six into the other one. And one of those Absolutely. either side of your front door right now will give much needed color because we're still waiting, aren't we? The mm. tulips are starting to shoot, but we haven't got the flowers on them absolutely. yet. We don't want them yet. It's a bit too no. early. Yeah, but it will absolutely. give a bit, just that bright punch of color that we really are craving. Absolutely, we are. Uh, 480-954 if you want to get your hands on those. They should be 19.99 each. It's a buy one, get one. Put one in your basket. As long as you've got the code in, two of them will appear. So mm -hmm. they are a brilliant value. Uh, right, we're going... This way again. Yeah, we need some Back more compost, to the compost, don't we? Batman. Uh, yes, uh, always so incredibly popular whenever we bring this to you. Uh, and rightly so. Is of the things we've got in the show today, is there mm -hmm. anything that won't go in this compost? The yeah, blueberries, so we've got the blueberries, which we haven't seen yet. Which we haven't brought up yet. So blueberries want ericaceous compost and they want full ericaceous. So if you need that, just go onto our website in the search bar up at the top. If you just type Eric, E-R-I-C, it will bring it up for you. We've got a camellia. My favourite oh plant my on the show. Word. I'm getting it. I don't care what you say, let's Stuart. Give you little, let's it. give you a little free view. This is a free view. Oh. That's not what I meant. A preview. Preview. Look at that. I'm in love with this chameleon. Why is it singing? Why is it giving Margarita Prakatan to me? I don't know. Do you know what I mean, <laughs> I though? Know. It's giving flamenco dancer oh. with that on their hand as a little corsage. A little tucked behind the ear. Yeah. Beautiful, oh, isn't it? I just it? think this is great. So, basically, camellia prefers ericaceous. It doesn't need full ericaceous, but you definitely want to mix in a bit of ericaceous compost with your camellia or maybe give it an ericaceous look feed. Oh, look at that. Look and there's loads, there's loads of buds. Yeah, look, up here. Yeah. More down here. So we got a bud, a bud. We've got more coming around this side. There's a bud here. And camellia. I, Stu, have you got that picture that my mum sent yesterday? I love that. Bex just hijacked. We've gone to the comedian. We've sorry. just gone. We've gone to it. Let's. I think we should do it now. I mean, you've bigged it up so much. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe that shoes I'm made so you wait an hour and forty-five minutes. No. Well, anyway, they flower for a really, really long time. You get loads of flowers on here, and it's a really long-lived perennial. So this will last decades in your garden, really? and it's evergreen. And look how sturdy and strong these leaves are. Mm. They are fantastic. My mum sent a picture of her camellia in yesterday because she was watching the show. It's a different variety, but just to give you an idea of how many flowers you can get on oh, a camellia. Oh my word! Look at that. And it's, I mean, it's taller than the fence. It's more than six feet tall. And that is exactly Glorious. the kind of display that you can expect to get from a camellia. So it is my, I know it's, I know it's up there as far as the price She's is concerned. She's having to prune it back. It's sort of keeping it sort of pruned She'll back at prune the end it of the back season. And keep it neat and tidy. But yeah. oh my word, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Stunning, isn't it? Look Absolutely how many buds glorious. are on there as well. Look how many buds are waiting to come out of there. So, so many. It's incredible. What an amazing, Decades you will have a camellia for. plant that is. I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? So uh, that's another one that likes a bit of ericaceous. Amazing. Five, Sorry. One, one, Five one nine twenty four ninety nine. If you're going for that brilliant value, yeah, it's a it's a more expensive item, but I think absolutely oh, worth it. Think about how many but years that is for. not going in here. That's going to have ericaceous compost. It would have a mixture for me because it prefers ericaceous. So I would I would uh, I would mix some ericaceous into the hole. Okay. What else have we got that wants ericaceous? I think that's it on the show. To blueberry. We so said. everything else in the show. Everything else say, will live in this. You're going to be able to use this our premium professional compost for, which is our favourite, but also our Your customers favorite. favorite isn't it why is that best well because it works that's it right. End <laughs> <up>. right, <see laughs> <later>. <laughs> why does it work 
Sorry, I love doing that. Um, it is the most amazing compost. So you think that there are horticultural experts, professionals that have had um, their hands in the dirt that have, that have, formu <laughs> that have formulated <laughs> so this. They didn't get caught. <laughs> but over many years, they have really perfected the recipe as far as this compost is concerned. People that really do know what they're talking about. Once you start looking into the science behind how plants grow, why they grow, what mm. they need, it's, I mean, it's fascinating. But the science behind it is vitally, vitally important. And what this is, is a scientifically backed recipe of the best ingredients for your plants. You want to get the best ingredients. If we're thinking about how much money we spend on gardening, and listen, we, we try here at you Garden to make it as cost effective as possible, but we know we want these plants to live for a long time. We know if we're growing our strawberries, we want to get the best strawberry production. If we're growing our pineapple guava, we want those flowers, we want those fruits. We want the best for our plants. Absolutely. There are there are babies in the garden, aren't they? And this is what you will get with the premium professional compost. It is the compost we use here at the nursery. We're potting up 150,000 roses this year. Mm. We potted up, how many um, hydrangeas was it, Stu? Can you remember? Thousands and thousands of hydrangeas. We um, Later on in the year, we'll be bringing you our ready-made hanging baskets. Everything that we pot on that we grow here is grown in this compost. Absolutely. And that is and like growing the best is, is pedigree the, the I can business, tell you. Isn't it? you know, yeah. Growing is, is what we do professionally. So you know you are getting something amazing. And normally these kind of professional, I'm going to say almost trade secrets, would be kept, wouldn't they? They you would. Know, usually not the sort of stuff that's made available for you. But we want you to get the best result from yeah. absolutely everything you buy from us here. So it used you to be something TV. that we, you know, it was just our compost but our head gardener Peter he realized how good it is um, and, and wanted to share that secret basically with the you garden customers and so this has now been available for several years so many people as you saw from the reviews we showed earlier they say how good it is that mm. they will never use anything Absolutely. else and it's the mixture of these incredible ingredients so it's this lovely one of the reviews said something about the lovely texture didn't it and it is it's the most I want to curl up in it and go to I want to create a pillow out of it it's so soft it is really lofty isn't it? It is, Beautiful. and it's really important that soft texture for roots to be able to grow and develop. That's how they get a really nice, strong root structure. It's about creating the proper foundations. If your house was built on weak foundations, it would crumble yep. and fall. It's the same with plants. They need those really strong foundations to grow big, to grow healthy, to grow strong. If we think about ourselves and what we put in our own body, we know we are going to sleep better, live, live longer. Absolutely. I mean, we are. We know our five a day is vitally important. This is your five a day for your plants. It's got peat. It's got three different types of peat. It's got renewable peat. The ones that aren't renewable, we use the minimum amount to get the maximum results. We've got that composted wood fiber, which gives it that lovely light, airy texture, allowing for root development. But it also means that we can um, uh, water evenly. It will retain moisture. And it does retain moisture well. I mean, this is left out for days at a time. I mean, I've seen it watered maybe once in the time I've been coming yeah, here. It and does, it, it still, retains it very well. It still means it's nice and I mean on the edges it's drying out a little bit down here. Yeah. But other than that, I mean it's really hanging on to the water well. It does, and it, it's got a slow release fertilizer, it's got a wetting agent, it's got a pH buffer to put the acidity level just where it needs to be for ninety-eight percent of the things that you're going to plant in here. The texture means that seeds through to trees and everything in in between can be planted in here. I have repotted all of my house plants into this and they are doing fantastically. Even my peace lily, she's starting to throw up another flower. Ooh. I know, right? Nice, I love that. <laughs> I've got a, uh, a peace lily at home. Honestly, I don't look at it for a day or so. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then you just, uh, just here, here's the tap. I always, hear, I always hear this, our peace lilies are easy to grow. That I mean, they are, they're semi-easy to grow and keep alive, but to yeah. get those things flowering, oh my word. Yeah, mine's not, She's mine was flowering a lot, but I'm going to have to move it again. I think it's in <laughs> too much sun at the moment. She's it's a not diva. having a nice time. Uh, 100125 is your item number if you want to go for those. We are going... Pink L. This way, to the Pink L. Uh, which is this one just down here. Um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful plant, this one, yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Really gorgeous. Um, and yeah, we've decided we really should be doing it for a bit more money than this. I mean, it's 
inexpensive compared to other varieties that are available on our website, which are smaller. Well, what yeah. Think, uh, so we're getting into trouble with the commercial director. She thinks we should be selling this at a higher price. Um, and she is right, to right. be honest with you, because on the website you can get this for, uh, you can get a nine centimetre pot. Bearing in mind this is a two litre. So you can get a nine centimetre oh, pot yeah. version. So much smaller, less established plant. And the cost for that is £12.99. Put in our item number, 510-545. This is the one you get. It's a two litre pot for £9.99. It has the Royal Horticultural Society perfect for pollinators badge. And so it means that the bees, the butterflies are going to have an absolute wonderful time around this plant. It is evergreen. It is luscious. This is the worst it's ever going to look. And it looks pretty good to me. It, it has a really nice, neat growth habit to it as well. well. It sort doesn't of get massive. That you get yeah, that the top growth. of the Yeah, that beautiful new growth coming through. Really gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, it doesn't get huge and it grows relatively slowly. So we're talking maybe three or four feet height and spread. So if you right. want to plant this out into a board or into a mixed border somewhere, it will live so happily there. But I do think it also works really nicely in a pot as a feature on its own. Um, you get panicles of these flowers on there and hundreds of flowers in those clusters there too. Really easy to look after, very reliable, very easy going, easy to care for. This one is not a diva. This one's just Amazing. reliable and does its thing. Glorious. You'll be in a panicle if you miss out on that. I'm going to see how many times I can use that. Oh, we're all bored of it already. Uh, 510545. I missed it, what? Uh, you'll be in a panicle if you don't get oh, your hands on it. you'll be in a panicle. You will. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, we're going to move on to this, the anemone. No, crocosmia. Oh, that is how you say it, though, isn't it? You did say it right. Amazing. But we're going Look, here. trust me to be the first, the first time I've got it right, and that's not what we're going yeah, to. We're, we're going, going to it. the Crocosmia. Crocosmia, South African native, but an absolute beauty that you can grow in this country. Stupidly hardy, this one. So even though it's a South African native and loves a bit of sunshine, it's actually winter hardy down to something like, I mean, ridiculous, like minus 20. Wow. Lovely, sword-like, upright green, lovely foliage that you get on here but then you get these arching taller stems coming out of here these reach about three feet in height as well and that flowers just open in succession across those arching stems and it's those lovely hot bright colors the reds the oranges Stunning, the yellows they? i think it looks exotic but it's at home in a country cottage style garden and i love that kind of I was going to say dichotomy. Is that the right word? Mm, um, sounds right. I don't you know. say it with enough conviction, we won't question it. I love that dichotomy. No, Brilliant. I don't know if that's the right <laughs> word, but I love that, that uh, it works in, in a variety of settings, Contrast. basically. Contrast. Let's yeah. just go simple. <laughs> <laughs> you calling me simple? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that couldn't say the word. Now you're accusing me. I don't of even know if it's simple. the right word. <laughs> uh, oh. It's your crocosmia. Oh, yeah, my mum's not watching. That you are looking at. Why? Because she be she's upset. good with words. Is she? She's good with words. Bex is mum. If you're watching, have a word with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also be another word in. Uh, you can double up here, which is awesome. So one of these for nine ninety nine, two for fourteen ninety nine, which is glorious. So you will get both of us. Are you okay? Yeah. You're a little chappy to yourself. Yeah. You're I'm right? blushing a little bit. Are you? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I was silly. You are silly. But normal is so boring. It is so boring. So dull. <laughs> uh, 630 We are going to... Uh, we're going to share with you. If you're uh, having Sean withdrawals, don't worry. He's coming up. Where is today. he? He's out with he's his mum. He's out with his mum. He's having a lovely day. I think she's got a couple of appointments, but he's taking her out for a day out. Nice. So he's having a nice mum day today. I keep saying I'll catch up with him. I keep missing him. But here is Sean from a previous show. So, uh, he's going to bring us uh, a glorious mimosa. Take a look. Hello there. Well, I'm in, uh, obviously, the U Garden Nursery, and I must be surrounded by, I reckon, at least 2,000 of these gorgeous mimosas. And what I'm really impressed with is the fact that every single one of these looks perfect. They're all of very similar size, they're all extremely healthy. For those of you that don't know the mimosa, it's a fabulous, fabulous plant. It comes from the Mediterranean, so you find it in France, Spain. I've seen these in New Zealand. And what is wonderful, at this time of the year, they burst into flower. And I've just found one here. This is slightly ahead of the others. But look, these gorgeous 
yellow pom-pom flowers are beginning to burst open. And as this grows, and these can grow really quite quickly, so even in a year they can grow two or three, uh, three feet high, you're going to get more and more of these gorgeous flowers. So this will be a carpet of yellow in your garden. And I've got a bit of a cold, but I can still smell a really gorgeous fragrance with these as well. Now they are evergreen, so this wonderful foliage that you're seeing, a little bit fern-like, you get that all year round. Just a few tips, they like a sunny spot and well-drained soil. They're hardy to about minus five, so do bear that in mind. Try to find them a nice sunny spot, south-facing, sheltered, with good well-drained soil, and they will do very nicely in the UK. Or alternatively, you can of course grow them in a pot. But I promise you, at this time of year, February, March, when these burst into flower, they are truly spectacular. A friend of mine has got one in their garden, and I don't know how long it's been there, maybe decades, but it's a huge mimosa tree, and it looks spectacular. In the UK, we normally say they grow to about three meters, but in the right spot, they can do exceptionally well. Or, of course, you can contain them in a pot as well. So this is mimosa. It's also known as Acacia delbata as well. I love the name mimosa. And when you place your order, you will receive one of these thousands of mimosas, but whichever one you get, I know you'll be truly delighted with it. Uh, that's a flowering mimosa. We saw that. I was just talking to you before the show, yeah. wasn't I? That somewhere that I was recently, I swear I'd been for a few days and I pulled in, pulled out, and either it hadn't started flowering properly or I just hadn't noticed it. But I then one day pulled out my car, I was like, Check out that mimosa. Yeah. And someone had made like a cut in a piece in a, a piece of lawn and it was just standing on its own. Uh, and it looked glorious yeah. coming into flower. I think once this is in once it's established and it's in full bloom, and you I mean you can see it on this one. Look at these fuzzy, beautiful pom-poms. And they look like they're gonna be delicate, but look, they're really not delicate mm. at all. They hold on to these pom-pom flowers and it gets covered in them. It does, isn't it? So you've got that lovely filigree fern like like foliage on here. I think that's super interesting anyway. It gives a bit of an exotic feel to it. But then at a particular time in the year, now, yep. <laughs> March, April into May time, you get these beautiful pom-pom flowers on here that the bees love. It's a real good source of pollen for the early pollinators. It has the Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit, so it's a proven performer in our gardens. It can, I mean, it's a little bit tender. It's not what we call fully hardy. It's hardy down to about minus five. So in all but the worst of winters, mm. this is gonna be absolutely fine. Think about where you live as to how much protection you're going to need this. I think, you know, South London, South Coast, anywhere sort of south of Birmingham, probably not nope. too much of a problem at all. North of there, maybe a little bit more yeah. protection you're gonna need. But the reward that you will get from this will be absolutely incredible. And Adam, who's, who's sometimes in the shed with us an award-winning gardener he comes in he was telling he's back on Sunday actually he was telling us about his mimosa that did suffer a little bit of frost damage it was a nicely established one suffered a bit of frost damage one year so he lopped it off basically right um, and it came back beautifully nice. and it's a really fast growing one as well this can grow two to three feet per year wow. which is a decent amount of mm. growth so if you ever do need to chop it back it will spring back into life for you I think it's a really rewarding one very very pretty and again Again, it's one of those ones that's going to give you colour at a time when we really want it, when we're craving it most, right off the back of winter, when we're just getting over all those dark, miserable days. That pop of colour is we amazing. We're over it now. We're over we're it. Just out, of, just about out of it. I, you know, we've been telling. I know we're that physically been over that. it. Mentally, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long way to go. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, you know, for a long time we were like, oh, I just get winter. Like, I do feel like now, especially when the sun comes out, as it has the last few days, to drive. I've been in the car the last couple of days with my shades on <laughs> yeah, looking cool cruising uh but it is it does put a spring in our step yes. doesn't it as the name suggests and i yeah. think it's lovely to have that early color in your garden which this is absolutely going to give Isn't you and these pom-poms are amazing because i actually have so always sturdy. thought that they would be if you touch them they would sort of you know drop off but they all right <laughs> I do like to test it brutal. sometimes. Uh, five one zero. Don't hardy, beat your plants sturdy. up, please. Uh, 
I'm the British weather. Uh, five, one, zero, two, three, five. <laughs> great method acting there as British weather. Thanks very much. Uh, 24 99 <laughs> is a great deal for you. So you're saving, what, £15? Plus you're getting the postage included, yeah. which could be saving you up to another £7, which is glorious. So make sure you are grabbing a hold of that. 22 49 if you are in the club. We've, had We've got some, some more pictures. pictures. Yes. yes. Love it. Adam has sent this next one oh, it's in. it's got a Salix. It's a is Salix. It the flamingo? For us to have a little look at. Oh. It's a, it is a flamingo. And he's got Primula. And he's got Primula. What glorious. Else? What else was it? A helper. Oh, is it a furry one? Has it got a furry helper? Bring the picture up, Stu. Stop it teasing is. me. We're on tenterhooks here, Stu. He's teasing us. It was ready, now it's not. Oh, no, it was ready, now it's not. Should we Phil. move on and come back? We've definitely We've got, got, the, got the helper. Let's have a look at that. Ah, oh. ha, ha, little Mau Mau. Oh, look, I want to stroke the cat. Oh, yeah, look, oh, the primulas are there. Look at those. And they look really pretty down there in the gravel as well, don't, don't they? Don't they look glorious? I really like primula. They're such beautiful flowers. Really, really There's a house lovely. near where I live, actually, and it's just around the edge of the house. They've just put primula all the way mm. around. The colour of it is incredible. Yeah, Adam does a bit of sensory garden, doesn't he? Nice. So he has lots of fragrance and lots of movement in the sensory beautiful. gardens. That looks really pretty, Adam. Very good. And a picture of Adam's cat there as Another well, for cat. good measure. We love, uh, we love a pet pic. Yeah, it definitely uh, makes my day. Oh, and then we're here. This oh, is the that's Salix. the Salix flamingo. Look at that. What is, that looks like the camellia in the background. It does, as doesn't well. it? I don't think it is though. But yes, that is that's exactly what we're talking about with the Salix. Okay, that lovely flamingo pink tipped edges to the flowers. It's so impressive. So impressive when it's, mm. and it lasts such a long time, like all the way through from start springing into life in spring and then it just keeps going all the way through the summer into the autumn as well. Beautiful. Love a Salix. Absolutely glorious. Uh, right, uh, let's... Um, uh, what do you want to do, Stu? Where are we going? Where do you want to go? go should we do this? Yeah. Amazing. Stu's uh, like, should we do that? Should we do this? We're doing this. I'm like, are you asking me or are you telling me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we love the Kojo no Mai and I particularly love the standard of the Kojo no Mai. So Kojo no Mai, I think, is a real, it's a real showstopper again. This one's an absolute thriller and I find this to be a thriller, particularly at this time of year. But actually, this is one that's a bit of a thriller throughout Amazing, all the different seasons. I mean, look at that beautiful display, that gorgeous cherry blossom. And I think as far as cherry blossoms are concerned, this is some of the prettiest cherry blossom as well. Oh, you know? I would agree. Lovely white flowers, but you've got that tinge of pink. And when you look in the centre of these as well, mm. it just gets darker towards the centre of the flowers as well. Beautiful. I think it's really, really pretty. In the winter, this is a deciduous plant, and you can actually see on some of the branches here, can you see that lovely kind of zigzag effect that we've got going on some of mm. those slightly barer branches? When this tree is naked, it looks fantastic it does, it? because of that zigzag that you get. When the blossoms are about to open, you can see it here, some of the buds, they're like this really deep red colour. And then this beautiful blossom opens. That's followed by the foliage. It's quite dainty looking foliage, but you have that lovely foliage on there. And then towards the end of the summer and into autumn, you get this blaze of red that wow. happens with it as well. So. I think it's something to look at every single season of the year. It's got a bit of a bonsai-esque feel it? to it. I think that's the way the, 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 these, um, these branches grow. Mm. Definitely has that, that look to it. It's a real How slow How is it going to hold on to these flowers for, do we think? Well, I mean, think about the blossom that mm. we get. You know, if you, well, you should get a good four weeks out of I blossom. So. You should I mean, get a good four weeks. A lot weeks. of the blossoms come out quite early, isn't it's it? come out quite early, unfortunately. I did take a picture get... of the blossom, actually. I shall email it to yeah. shoot round on um, Canal Path near me. It was one of the trees that had exploded. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely, Absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, sometimes when you get a really windy day, it can blow some... But actually, mm. I quite like that when it's all I blowing around. It's really around. pretty, isn't really it? Really beautiful. I'm a big fan of Kojo no Mai. It's a, it's a nice, slow-growing one as well. So with this, we're talking it will reach maybe a metre and a, a bit more in height, just a little bit more than that, but it takes a while to get there. But because it's been grafted into this beautiful standard shape the ball at the top i think this is even more of a thriller than the kojo mm. bush mm. i've got the bush 
I haven't got the standard. I kind of wish I'd got the standard. Uh, it's a, it is glorious. And to have that is. ball of colour is going to be amazing. The thing that I can't get over with this is just how delicate the flowers are. I mean, they are like paper, aren't they? They're they so are pretty. So, so I mean, thin look at and delicate. I'm just going to get my hand in the right place. Just look at them. No, you're Beautiful. in the right place, too. These, look at the colours that you've got mm. within the centre of those flowers there. Aren't they beautiful? Glorious, Love absolutely them. glorious. It almost does look sort of, it doesn't look real, does it, in no. points when you look at it? It's so perfect. 510257 is the up number there for that one. Seven pounds uh, is what you're saving, 27.99. These would go great in. The oh, box boxwood planted. Yeah, I do think don't, these would be great. Um, don't expect to be able to come back on Sunday and grab these. The way they're going and the way they went yesterday. Look at that. That's, that's stunning. Um, they're probably not going to be here on Saturday, the boxwoods. They're buy one, get one, which is brilliant. And they're $14.99. That now, so I would classy often, in there. I would often suggest underplanting in a standard, mm. but I'm going to suggest not with I this. I think not. I don't think you want to detract from the beautiful shape up at the top here. So I think maybe plant it, plant it in the boxwood planter and then some stone or some slate mm. or something around there because you wanna, you wanna keep that beauty. But I do think that that boxwood marries perfectly with the colors um, that you're getting with the coat. It Kojo. really does. And do we need to do anything to this once it's at uh, the end of the season? Yeah. Why, like literally just, it's, you can neglect it, it's fine. Leave it alone. Brilliant, love that. Feed it, water it, Feed and it, then leave it, it alone. It. Beautiful. I can't stop playing that compost. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, 130395. It's a buy one, get one uh, on your Boxwood Acorn planters. Now we're going we are going to go. Anemone. 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 I, did, I didn't. I said it wrong. <laughs> Anemone. 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 Anemone blander Anemone. in here. Bum, 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 bum. What you are getting Anemone. is a gorgeous. Bum, 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 I'm going to ignore it. You're going to get a gorgeous bum, bum, bum. mix of colour <laughs> from these daisy-like flowers Sorry. in here. You've got blues. You've got lilacs. You've got violets. You've got whites. You've got that gorgeous yellow centre as well, which really does pop. It is a member of the. Um, Oh, this is a member of the Buttercup family as well. Ooh. Yes, it is, just like the other one. Beautiful. It is beautiful, honestly. The shades of the violets and the blues and, and the touches of hints of pink in there as well. It's a real garden workhorse because it will multiply, it will establish, it doesn't mind being in a shady spot. In fact, it wants that kind of woodland setting. Um, so dappled shade underneath trees, underneath bushes. Uh, it maybe even planted through grass as well this works in fact that's what through i saw the grass. other day yeah. wow yeah there was a tree growing out and there was grass and there was just these growing around the base of the tree it was so so beautiful and they will just keep multiplying for you and create that carpet of color well, do we have to be careful about this sort of taking over if they're in a small space where we didn't really want they're not them. particularly vigorous okay cool. no but if they do start creeping into areas that you don't want them in you can lift them and move them to where Brilliant. you want them to be oh really yeah. cool and and you should get a good three to six weeks worth of flowers from these as well so and they're in flower at this time of year so it's a really good one to have sort of March and into April again we're waiting for some color to come through there are things that you can plant in your garden to give you that color all the way through every single month every single season of the year which is glorious aren't they? aren't they I feel the thing I love about you garden TV is that if you go into a garden center you, know, you look at all these different things you yeah. don't know when it flowers where it goes how it goes I think gardening sometimes can be I mean if you are passionate about gardening you love it you know all the stuff it can be a little bit inaccessible sometimes yeah. and I think that's what's brilliant it's having Bexy to talk you through all of these items and explain them for you if you want to go for them they are glorious the deal is brilliant because you'll get 150 of these for nine pounds 99 150 of them for 9.99 yeah which when sounds it comes a to lot. planting these as well is there anything we need to bear in mind no Beth? well my top tip is to soak them right um so get them out of the bag and soak them for a few hours um before you plant them out just hydrate them give them a good drink they're small bulbs and that's not just because we're bringing you small bulbs they are genuine they are small bulbs anyway mm. so they're about the size of a pea basically uh let me get one that's the size that we're talking about here with anemones. So give them a soak in a bowl of water for a good couple of hours and then plant them. I know 150 sounds like a lot, but if, mm. if you think about how you're gonna plant them, you're gonna dig a hole and plant multiples into the same hole. So, you know, a, a, I'm, I'm not talking about a tiny hole, I'm talking about a wide hole, dig a hole, and then you're gonna put 
30, 35 in to one hole. Brilliant. You need pointy side up with these ones. I wouldn't worry too much, they'll find their own way. Um, but yes, dig a, dig a big hole, 30 or 40 into that hole, and then in another hole for the other one. So you'll, the job of planting them will actually be quite quick, but the top tip is just to give them a soak before you plant them out. Brilliant, absolutely love that. And you're planting a promise for next year because those flowers will be incredible. They're gonna be glorious. 630244, if you want those, 999 should get you one. And actually, if you don't use the code, it will get you one yes. set. We don't want to give you that. We want you to add that code in, uh, YGTV1024, and then you will get the extra 75 bulbs on us, which is glorious, so please don't miss out. On those ones, uh, if you want to get in touch, you can remember uh, in the chat, either on Facebook or YouTube, or you can email us. We do love a picture. We love uh, seeing your gardens. We do. YGTV at yougarden.com uh, is a way you can email those pictures into. The deal of the show, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned, I think this really is for a massive display of colour for well a tiny investment £11.99 to get 300 summer bulbs but this is Sort of donk donk this deal, isn't it? Donkulous, absolutely. Seven different varieties included in here, over 300 bulbs. It works out something like four pence a bulb. And when you think about how long you could potentially have these in your garden and flowering for, flowering for that is incredible value because these will naturalize. They will come back for you year after year. They're really easy to grow. You can use lots of these as cut flowers and bring them into your house. You've got a mixture of shapes, of colors, of sizes, is included. You've got things that the pollinators are going to absolutely adore as well. Most importantly, though, it is that value for money, isn't it? Mm. Four pence a bulb. Long flowering season, we're talking, because right the way through from sort of end of May, early June, right the way through into October is how long, how many months you will get flowers for. They won't all flower for that long. You'll, no, get, of course. you'll get successional flowering going on um, with it. But we're going to start with, so there's the Allium Molly in there, the yellow ones those May-June flowering, reaching about 50 centimetres in height. The Allium Neapolitanum, the other white ones, they're going to be May-June, 40, 50 centimetres in height. Uh, you get 35 of those. You get 75 of the Brody Ear, the nice short ones. They're also called Cluster Lilies. June-July time, reaching about 30 centimetres. Ten of the Gladioli, those the ones in the centre. They get mixed colours included. They're nice and tall. They're mm. beautiful. A metre in height. Loads of flowers opening in succession. Bees adore them. You get the Liatra spicata. These ones, I think they're incredible, just super unusual. 40 of those. June and August, reaching about a metre in height. You've got 20 of the freesias included, super fragrant, lovely flowers, reaching about 25 centimetres and flowering in August. And then the Acidanthera, the other ones at the bottom there, uh, 45 of those, and they will flower later on in the season. So anywhere between sort of end of August and maybe into October as well and they will reach about a metre in height as well. Absolutely. Just Please think it's me. incredible. They do come to you in separate bags, by the way. We've taken them out so that you can see them on the tray there. But they do come in these bags for you. They are labelled. They've got the names on. They've got the uh, plant, uh, planting depth, plant spacing, so you know which is which and where you need to plant them. Brilliant. Absolutely glorious. 630130 if you want those. I think if you, what, you know, you maybe got an area you're going, could these all be planted in relatively, in the same area? area yeah. in your garden they're going to sort of work well together yeah definitely because you've got that mixture of shades you've got that mixture of colors i just want you to think about um, the heights they're going to reach uh, as to which ones you're going to plant towards the back which ones you're going to plant towards the front all the information for this is on our website by the way so you can you don't have to remember everything that i'm saying of here of course um, but you can go into the website and you can see all of those um, details on the website so that's all you need to be aware of really because some of them are going to reach a meter in height like the acidanthera the gladioli you you don't want to plant those at the front of the border and then put the alliums behind them that are only going to reach mm. half of that height. So you need to know that that when you plant. Absolutely. Uh, right, 630130 is right on number there. For that one, let's have another look at the Sweet Pea Patio ah. Perfect. Yep. Sweet Pea Patio Perfect, try saying that quickly. <laughs> uh, these are beautiful. If you want um, if you want fragrance, these are definitely going to totally, allow you Totally, yeah. Me. Lovely rainbow of colour, but definitely about fragrance as well. These are 
are super healthy as well. I've just taken, I always take a random one out so you can see. I'm not worried because I know that these are really well grown. Lovely white fibrous roots, garden ready plugs means they are ready to go in your garden. Whether your garden is ready or not though, that is for you to decide. Sweet peas can cope with a little bit of frost. They just can't okay. cope with prolonged periods of frost. So we often get frosts right the way through into, I mean, April, definitely sometimes into May as well. So just keep an eye on the weather and decide what you're going to do. But getting them home now, getting them planted into whatever pots or whatever it is you're going to put them in is a great way to give them that head start. They're multi-sown as well. So we've got more than one seed that's been grown in here. You can see how many stems are coming out. We say it's four minimum, oh, sorry, four minimum per plug. Um, but sometimes there's even more of those included as well. It's 20 garden ready plants. But the wonderful thing about this, so two trays like this is what, what you will get. The wonderful thing about this particular variety is that it doesn't get really long and tall. Okay. Sweet peas um, traditionally will grow very tall. You know, they're, they're climbers. They will grow the full height of our tower pots. Mm. And you get loads and loads of flowers in there. But this is a more compact variety. Right. So we are only talking maybe a couple of feet height or drape. Okay. Because these can be a small climber and we've got the um, eclipse planters that these could climb in, but they could also be a trailer for you as well. So if you want to put them into hanging baskets, they would be perfect in a hanging basket because they'll gently trail. Lovely, papery looking flowers on there, but it's the fragrance, isn't it, from sweet peas. Mm. I adore the fragrance from sweet peas. And you can cut them as well. So you can cut them to bring them indoors and have cut flowers indoors. Beautiful. And the more you cut, the more you're going to encourage more flowers to come through. Sweet peas want to be deadheaded. Mm, so you get more and more flowers. Um, and the thing with these, I love that you've got the option. So trailing, they're going to work brilliantly. So even in things like hanging baskets, these are going to be wonderful for you this summer. Or if you want them to climb as well, and that's what you were talking about a moment ago, isn't it? It's these, the Eclipse. It's on yeah. a buy one, get one. Too. So you they work out five pounds each when you get them in this deal, which is brilliant. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. And these would be the perfect size in actual fact for the Sweet Pea Patio Perfects because they will get to about 60 centimetres height. It's a 60 centimetre trellis that we're talking about here. So they will climb in and trail, you know, it will look absolutely beautiful. You're getting 20 of the sweet pea plants. So you've got more than enough to go in two of these and some left over to go into a couple of hanging baskets or something as well. Absolutely blooming glorious blooming is what they're going glorious. to be. 130133. Shall we take a moment? Whilst Bex has a little switcheroo with some of the products, yes. I'm going to give you a reminder of some of the things that you've seen and you are loving so far in this show. Uh, let's start with skyscraper lilies. Woo. They are a class. They are my ultimate favorite thing that we sell here at you garden tv they are i'll let you know when that changes but i think these are amazing 25 bulbs five of each here as well they are going to grow tall they are going to be a showstopper they are a diva of the garden these 14.95 is your price if you want to go for those the begonia uh, this one here, look at these, it's your Fimbiata. Uh, you are on a double up here too, so they were brilliant value at $9.99 with, of course, a saving. However, you can have two for the price of one, essentially. You wanted to put two into your basket, uh, it's your Begonia Fimbiata. I love that sort of pink um, feel that you get to uh, the flowers themselves. They are beautiful, 630190 if you want to get your hands on those. The Cosmia, Cosmia even, um, beautiful, really, really unusual this, quite tropical looking, but super hardy, which is glorious. Look at the, how delicate those flowers are. They are beautiful in a really lovely array of colors there for you too. Again, it's another one of our double up deals. So two of these is 14.99. That's only two pounds more than you should be paying for one, which is brilliant. You will need to use the code, of course, YGTV, 1024 uh, to grab a hold of these. Uh, 630234 is your item number there. We also have the Majestic Lily. Can you have too many lilies? Plot twist, no you can't have too many lilies. Uh, these are on a buy one get one. So put, uh, if you put one of these in your basket without the code, you'll get one. 
we don't want you to do that. We want you to put one in your basket and use the code, and then you will get another set as well. So you're actually looking at 50 pence per bulb when you are using the code, which is glorious. 650134 is your item number on that one. The Salix Flamingo. We had a little look at one of these, didn't we? In Adam's, in Adam's garden, um, they are glorious. Again, a really unusual looking um, plant, this one. I love that it. it's like an explosion, like a firework of color, isn't it, in your garden? 510919 is your item number here. It's three, in a three liter pot, which is brilliant. And it's 12.99, brilliant value too. Um, so please do get that in. I think you're gonna love that. Uh, let's move on to Kojo no Mai. Um, it's beautiful, this next one. Again, it is a sort of cherry blossom that we're looking at. And look at the blossoms you are getting. So this is a standard, so it's that lollipop shape, which I think is really lends itself to this style. 90 centimeters tall. They're going to be flowering when they get to you. They are stunning. Really, really amazing. 27.99. The um, the the tree itself has almost a sort of bonsai-esque feel to it with the way it's got these sort of jagged branches that are coming off of it. 510257. Pineapple guava uh, is what we are talking about next, which is this one just here. Uh, it's a fruit. It will flower for you, but then later in the season, it will also fruit for you too. So it is a truly versatile one. This I have no idea what a pineapple guava tastes like, but I am desperate to find out. I really am. There is the fruit. It's kind of like a fruity cucumber, isn't it? Uh, 680146 is your item number if you want to get that. £14.99. Uh, next up, we've got the, uh, the anem an anemone. 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 That doesn't sound right, Stu. Anemone. Anemone. Uh, 75 bulbs is what you should be getting here. Look, plot twist, whatever you call them, they're all glorious, right? That's what you need to know. Uh, you are going to get 75 bulbs, but you will get an extra 75 when you use the code, which is wonderful. That lovely blanket of color that these are creating for you. We then also have Jasmine. It's your Jasminum Nudiflorum. This one is brilliant. It is a, it is a, a winter flower. Do you think it's called a nudie florum because it flowers when the others are normally nude? Could be. Could be. Might not be. Who knows? Uh, but these are all about that winter colour for you, which is brilliant. Something maybe you struggle with in your garden. This is wonderful because it will give you the colour when nothing else or very few things are. And it will climb for you too. It's a 60 centimetre cane in a two litre pot. Really well established, this. Now, Bex's pick of the show, I think, this next one, it is the Camellia Japonica Femme Fatale. There is one in the studio and it's got the most gorgeous big flower on here. This is going to be producing loads of flowers for you. And they are, well, they're like a sort of, um, they're like saucer sized flowers, aren't they? I mean, they are ginormous, loads of layers to them. They are beautiful. 511519 if you want to get your hands on that one. Right, we are going to come back. Where does the time go? Fast running out of time. Uh, <laughs> we're going to come back and have a little look at this. Now, I've had my eye on this since the start of the show. Yes. Because it is really interesting. It almost looks, it reminds me a little bit of a, you know, you get a pineapple. Yes. Plant. It's kind of like that, but lots yeah. of little ones almost, isn't it? See what I mean? Isn't isn't what I mean? Yeah, the, the flowers and it. then that the, the shape of it generally. Yeah. It's really interesting to look at. It's beautiful. We're calling it the bottle brush. Bottle brush, and that is because of the bottle brush-like flowers that you mm. get on here. Those flowers look like you know a bottle brush, yeah. and they are incredibly interesting. I think once this gets established, and you can create this vibrant display that you can see in the picture here, mm. it has this lovely 
really upright growth habit to it. So you can see how the stems naturally grow upwards like this. And then you get, and again, I often use this, I have to find another word, but it's like that explosion, mm. isn't it? Of going upwards like this. And it gets covered in these beautiful bottle brush, red colored flowers on there as well. It is evergreen, so it has these leaves on there all year round. I think it's a real true feature as well. I mean, imagine that planted on it. I, I don't think mixed in anywhere. I mean, it no, could. It I think could it needs. It, I think in. it needs its own. It needs its own it space. It needs its to own shine. space. It does, yeah, doesn't it? It's it really a real does. feature plant. This one, I think, in a gravel um, setting like mm. that as well. So it really stands out. Looks absolutely perfect. Obviously, we all garden our own way. So absolutely. you do you. Um, but I do. That's just how I picture this mm. planted. Um, it is um, relatively hardy. We're not saying a fully hardy plant here at all. It might need a little bit of protection from frost we're saying half hardy so if you want to grow it in a pot so that you, you know, again this depends on where you live and the weather you get in your particular part of the country so maybe you want to grow it in a pot as a beautiful feature that you can then move as and when you need to depending on frosty temperatures etc or if you want to plant it out into a border somewhere and you are expecting those frosty temperatures just think about a fleece you know and mulching and that sort of thing planting it in a pot keeping it close to the house that extra extra one or two degrees that it can get from being right next to the house can make the world of difference. It's it just it's a specimen. It's a yeah, feature really plant, and amazing, I think it needs it? to stand out. That's obviously why I think of a gravel because of, we've got it in the picture, mm. haven't we? But it really does stand out in it that does. kind of setting. What I find is interesting is that the the colour sort of shoots out of these pods that are on the side. I mean, even the way it flowers is quite is interesting, it's interesting, isn't it? Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I love those bottle brush flowers. I love how big and vibrant and showy they are once this plant gets established. And I think at £14.99 as well. Brilliant. I think that is a really, really good price for something that is in a two and a half litre pot, is it's well something established. I've, I've not seen before as well. I mean, it's not yeah. something I've, you see a lot of these you don't around. See it everywhere, do you? It's beautiful because it is unusual as it's well. It's very it's low wonderful. maintenance. Once it gets established, it is drought tolerant as well. It doesn't take masses of looking after. In fact, you don't want to prune this too hard. You can okay. chop it back a little bit, but it doesn't particularly like hard pruning pruning at all you're just going to trim off you know below the flower stems once it's finished flowering and that's about it other than that it grows in this lovely shape um, almost symmetrical shape anyway nice. get nice and tall if you plant it out as well we're talking about maybe five or six feet in oh, height wow. okay which, i mean imagine that five six feet and then in of full color, flower yeah. in summertime june july I think that is just... Because it, it looks like it flowers from the base to the top as well. Yeah, Looking at definitely. the picture here, you get flowers low down as well as all definitely. the way up. So a real ball of colour, that. It is. Really like, lovely, isn't it? You're a ball of colour. Um, we have held the price on this as well. It was popular previously. It is still back at a great price for you. 510046 is your item number if you want to get your hands on it. 1349 if you're in yeah, the club, which I think is glorious. That's a great price. If you've got a £5 voucher from being a club member, mm. maybe you've got one of your £5 vouchers to spend at the moment. £13.49 in the club. But take another fiver off it Absolutely. if you've got a voucher to spend. And also, you're paying four ninety nine postage here. So make sure you're adding the strawberries in. They're going to be 99 pence, and they'll put, put only an extra pound on your postage with that. So, yeah. so you'll be getting them for essentially... 199 which is great 3200024 now if you want to just pay the postage and get the strawberries you can yeah, uh, it's I a mean, gift from us to you so 99p uh, you just do need to pay that 699 postage but i think still a great price to get 10 strawberry runners cambridge favorite is the variety that we're talking about here strawberry runners you get a lifespan of a good five years out mm. of them they in years two and three that's where you get the most fruit production but you will get fruits in the first year a decent amount of fruits in the first year years two and three amazing amounts of fruits and from that point on what you can then do is propagate the plants because they throw out runners Brilliant. so from those runners you can create new strawberry plants so you never have to buy another strawberry plant again amazing or you could do it like this you could think of it pay for the 6.99 postage on these and the 99p and then think about if you're going something else you'll get free postage on something else yeah 
is another way to exactly. think of it. Exactly. Uh, 320024 for the strawberries, which is glorious. Right, let's move on. Coronilla is what we are moving on Put to Put your next. face in there, Joe. Smell that. Mm, Isn't really it sweet? lovely. Yeah, beautiful. It's Absolutely not overpowering. Sunny. It's not. It's not heady fragrance. It's got a mm. lovely sweet floral fragrance to it, hasn't it? I think this is. A, I think this is a this plant. This looks that quite you could... whimsical as a it plant. Does. This doesn't it? It's sort of. It looks very chilled. Very chilled. And I think this is the sort of plant that you could overlook, that you could walk past it's in a garden centre. the opposite to a stargazer lily. Totally. Uh, opposite to a skyscraper lily, but in a lovely kind of way. Yeah, I think you could overlook it and you could walk past it. But actually, in the right setting, I think the coronilla could be a real sort of standout, show-stopping mm. plant. I think in a mixed border here, the coronilla will add that, that layer of whimsy, that yeah, lovely absolutely. movement, that gorgeous fragrance. But it's a real valuable one, this, because what this does is it flowers for ages, but again in some of the darkest and dullest months. Brilliant. October to October, I don't know where that came from. October time is about okay, where. Okay, the new October. I don't know where that came from. About October is where this will Fantabby start dosa. flowering. And it will keep flowering through the winter and into spring and early summer. So, right the way through to April and May time is when you'll get these flowers. And I, 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 I want to mix this into a border because mm. that will look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You could have it on its own in a pot as well. It doesn't get massive. We are only talking a metre maximum and it has this lovely kind of, you see how it just gently sort of drapes and I love it. I think it's mm. really, really pretty. Yeah. Really lovely on a summer's day with a gentle breeze as well. I love, yeah, how it sort of just falls into itself. It really is fantastic. Yeah. It's beautiful and the colour is amazing that you've got on here too. Uh, if you want to go for this, it's glorious. It's your coronilla that we're talking about. Citrina uh, in a three litre pot. Uh, three pounds is what you're saving here on that. 14 99 so today good. if you are getting that, which is wonderful. The foliage really is really interesting lovely. on it as well, isn't it? I love the shape of and the growth of the foliage has got this kind of bluish grayish tinge mm. to it as well which is really pretty yeah and the, the the each individual branch they sort of grow in an interesting way as well don't they yeah. they're sort of it's just a really lovely one but definitely subtle definitely something you could overlook as you've said really I love that i think so but in the right place showstopper mm, love it five one zero five two one is your item number there we are going to move on to this your windowsill propagator kit yeah. and it's important isn't it that we're using this kind of thing this time of the year we should be giving things a helping hand now but absolutely well i'm so i'm using this uh, this year and I'm growing my sweet pea seeds in here uh, if you're going for any of our if you've gone for any of our pro plugs you know the tiny plugs that need growing on a little bit before we plant them out this will be absolutely fantastic to, to start these off in you get three of the um, base trays here now those are watertight there are no holes in there Brilliant. then you get 15 of these that means five in each of these trays those do have holes in so obviously water draining out of here will drip into here it's designed to go on your windowsill that's Brilliant. why the bottom one is watertight so that it doesn't drip water out onto your windowsill and you get the lids included as well so you can really help and give those seeds and things a, a good start um, they all stack up together inside each other so these will all stack together and then those stack together and then the lids will go underneath as well so when you're not using it it can then easily be packed away ready for you to use again year after year Brilliant, so i think it's, it? it's a perfect little kit and it's been um built uh, and designed so it's nice and slim which means that it will fit onto your windowsills mine are currently on the windowsill in the conservatory with right. the sweet pea seeds in could we put these on windowsills in our house yeah this absolutely time of year? so if it was like just you know in the window behind the kitchen sink would be absolutely totally. fine would happily live there yeah I mean, it's going to be cool enough for it, it depends there. on what you're growing obviously but most things are going to want light they're going to want warmth so mm. that's why windowsills are a great place because obviously they're getting the sunlight in and sometimes they're above a radiator which might add that extra bit of warmth that sometimes nice. is needed lovely if you want to go out for that it's going to be absolutely brilliant and again you know we talk about things you know being sort of uh, getting them going giving yeah. them the best chance before they get into your garden this is a great way to allow you to do that 
120034 is your item number there for that. And you can see those uh, there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, don't forget, if you've got pictures, please send them in to us. If you've got questions, get them in the chat or pop them in an email. It is completely up to you. Just, I don't care how you get here. Just get here if, if you, you can. can. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, this next one we're going to move on to is our Primula that oh, we are going so to look at. These ones down. Just glorious, aren't they're they? They're so pretty, aren't they? I they love are, the colour they mix. They look like if cabbage flowered. Do you know what I mean? They're like dainty, dainty little cabbage leaves, oh, like right. cabbage patch. You know, like cabbage, cabbage patch, patch dolls. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like if that, I don't know why. I don't know why I think sexy I cabbage when I look at them. I love your brain. Yeah. What's I don't want to live there? in it, but I no. do love it. No. Come for a visit sometime. I like experiencing it occasionally. It's quite fun. Um, <laughs> I do adore the colour mix that we saw. This one I think is my favourite. That lovely kind of indiglo blue. Oh look, Adam's cat is enjoying the primulas there. And that's the perfect setting for primulas because those are sort of underplanted. Is that a rosemary? I think it's a rosemary he's got is going it? there. So they're underplanted, nice. you know, around the bottom of shrubs. And they're perfect for that because they do want um, a kind of woodland shady setting. You know, they'll, they'll cope in full sun happily mm. if you want to put them in full sun, no problem. But they do don't, oh, they don't mind. <laughs> They do don't mind a little bit of shade either. Right. So that's with or without shade? <laughs> Both. Right, OK. They're happy either. They're happy. Um, so if you want to create that tiered look, you can do that with Primula. Six different colours included in here. Um, but it is a buy one, get one free. So you're not getting one each of the six different colours. You are getting two each of the six different colours. They will form clumps as well. So right. you can divide these um, over you know the coming years and then get free flowers to plant out you know in other areas of your garden they work beautifully as a mixture of, of all of these in pots on their own or you can as I say underplant them around the bottom of standards around the bottom of trees around the bottom of bushes and they will look beautiful for you that about January time January February is where they start flowering and they keep going right the way through till June at which point they don't they don't like the heat they don't like the sun so they'll give up flowering for a while but okay. then they'll come back for you um, next year. Nice. That's always nice of them to pop back next year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice to have um, a It's visit. a great deal, this, because it's a buy one, get one. You won't need to put two of these in your basket. As long as you've got the code entered, YGTV1024, then two of these will appear when you add one, and you'll only pay the price once, which is brilliant. So uh, 480954 is your item number. Uh, feeling fruity, taste my paradise. We're going to go to the berries next, which are these ones here. Blueberries. Absolutely. You, you brought some blueberries this morning, didn't I you? I did. It wasn't a Eurovision reference, actually, Stu. Sorry, you say it was a Eurovision reference. It just wasn't. Uh, it was a drag race reference, if you must know. Okay. Uh, anyway, I did bring some blueberries in for you us did, tonight. You did. And they were, they were really delicious. They but were. But isn't it a surprise when you get... I feel like I'm being gaslit by blueberries. I really <laughs> do. Because... Blueberry flavoured things when we have them. Yeah, they like taste have a blueberry good, muffin. Oh, oh, delicious, isn't it? Or blueberry pancakes. Delicious, right? When the reason I feel gaslit by them is because you buy them in the supermarket, they don't taste of anything. No. They are just the texture. And then what really I really knew they were having me on, when I open one up, they're not even blue inside. <laughs> they're not. They've been lying to me all these years. <laughs> Grow them yourself. <laughs> they are. I'm being gaslit by fruit. Yeah. Uh, I. <laughs> um, the, when you're growing them yourself at home, I think the great thing is that you're going to grow them traditionally, yes. which is definitely going to lend themselves to the, uh, having that synonymous flavour that you associate with totally, the fruit. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think anything that you grow your own, what you find is that it just tastes amazing because you've done it yourself, mm. and there's a real sense of achievement when you grow something yourself. Being able to pick the fruit direct from the plant, put it in your mouth. I love doing grow your own. I don't have a massive garden. I don't have masses of space to do grow your own. But I do every year do something yeah. um, because it's enjoyable to do that. It teaches my kids where, you know, plants, of how course. plants grow, where food comes from. And it just is that real sense of satisfaction. You can see from these that they have, I mean, they're called berry bucks. They have a natural kind of uh, bucks shape to them. Bucks balls being a very... Um, high-end 
Instagrammable. You know, they're definitely that kind of, yeah, that topiary oh, hedging. Okay, you yeah. see a lot of that, don't you? Mm. Well, this blueberry berry box will grow into that shape. So you can have that buxus ball shape but you get the added benefit of then it being a productive uh, mm. uh, bush as well. You can pick blueberries off there. Every single one of those flowers, and this one is producing flowers. I mean, I think they all are. But you see all of these diddy little white flowers that are appearing oh, yeah. on this bush. Every single one of those flowers has the potential to turn into a delicious, sweet blueberry that you've grown yourself out. There's loads of them. Mm. Now, often we say with these, they're gonna fruit from second, third year onwards. Right. However, that looks like it doesn't look like it's on ready. Here. Yeah. It would suggest that potentially this is going to fruit for you in the first year. Brilliant. If it doesn't, please be patient. Second, third year, obviously it's going to establish and you'll get more and more from these. It's all about planting a promise, isn't it, when we're gardening? But you will get three of these. They are self fertile, but you're getting three, so you don't even need to worry about that. Lovely and compact, only ever reaching about 50 by 50 centimeters. Okay. So I think in three pots, you know, individual plant in pots on their own, great. But what you could also do is plant these together and create a low productive hedge. Nice. Yeah, it'd be really That's good. Really Just like a way. division between a patio and a pathway mm. or something like that and create that lovely low productive hedge. If you multi-ordered and got six or nine or yeah. 12 plants and created a, a hedge down either side of, of course, a pathway, yeah. how cool would that be? Well, they should be nine ninety nine per plant, so and there'd be great value at that. However, they're just over half price, which is very almost half price if you're in the club. Uh, in fact, they're kind of like a blue. They're kind of, to me. They look like cross between a blueberry and a black currant. They're kind of like okay. you know what I mean, sort of because the, they're yeah. compact. They remind me of a black currant, but they are blueberries that they is what are you are growing. blueberries and just think about how much a blue but you know punnet of blueberries costs in the supermarket oh, they, they can be expensive yeah. can't they and i find with blueberries usually the big ones have less flavor yeah it's you know true. the sort of giant ones that yeah. you get a lot of time they don't have an awful lot going for them it's those little tiny sweet ones little flavor i like the idea of they? having these next to where it is you spend your time in the garden in the summer you know your little seating area or something just have them next to where you're sitting mm. i'd just be sitting there picking them off yeah there would never be an Enough to like have a serving. They'll just be going as they as they come into. Yeah. As they're ready to be fine. plucked from the plant. Uh, uh, three one zero one eight six. If you want to go for those, shall we move on? Shall we? Let's. <laughs> We're moving here to the begonia, uh, which is this one, our begonia fimbriata. Fimbriata. Are you saying fimbriata refers to the style of the petals, is that yeah, right? Yeah, fimbriata is that kind of crimped edging that you've got on there. We have fimbriata tulips, those lovely purple ones. I wonder if anybody planted those, waiting for those to come up. I think I planted them. I think I did. Oh, I've got loads of them, we'll see. But yeah, it's that lovely ruffled edges, you know, where it looks like somebody's taken the pinking shears. Did you mm. used to do that as a kid? Yeah, absolutely. My mum used to give me the pinking shears and we used to cut around the pictures of the Christmas cards right and then those would become our tags for presents the next year really yeah that's a you really good way of using them it's great isn't it I've never thought about doing that yeah. mm. we don't really send cards <laughs> anymore do we no that's the problem isn't it yeah. but yeah that was my job every Christmas was to nice. cut around the cards and create very tags frugal. for next year very frugal oh, yeah. Mrs Bex <laughs> Begonia fimbriata are a beautiful, bright, bold colour mix as well. I love all these hot colours in the summer. Mm. The yellows, the oranges, the reds. You've got the whites in there contrasting perfectly. And begonias love the foliage in there as well. I love that contrast with the foliage and that bold, bright colour mix that you get with the flamboyance of the bright, begonia fimbriata. But a bride, bright, 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 definitely never a bride, bright, Bold, colourful, colourful, and flamboyant. Sean Ryan suggested that if I was a flower, I'd be this one. Exactly that. I'm not going to argue with him. But we all know I'd be. A, <laughs> we all know I'd be a Lily. Main character in a chain. Main character always. <laughs> I'm the main character in my own story. <laughs> Absolutely. They are gorgeous, though. These. They really, really are, and they're super, super easy to grow and super easy to look after. Plus, they're tolerant of all the British summer weathers as well. So, I, I say it so many times, but we never know what we're going to get here in the UK. Sometimes. Do you remember 2020, that horrible year where no, we were all... No, choose to forget. Yeah, let's choose to forget it. But it was a great year, wasn't, <laughs> wasn't it, as far it as... weather-wise, like, from was this so time of year? Warm. I had the best tan in April yeah. that I've ever had. It was amazing. So we had that wonderful... Uh, weather-wise, I know it was a horrible mm. year other than that. But weather-wise, it was good amazing. Good the weather was good, because imagine if it had been miserable know, right? as well. 
gorgeous, glorious weather, and then the next year it was a bit blah, and last year wasn't great. I, we just never Maybe know. Maybe this do is we? our year. Maybe this is the one. Maybe the, we the have, we did have a little warm spell about a week or two back, didn't we? Yeah. We certainly did. I mean, a the warm spell. We got about 14, 15 degrees. <laughs> but I mean, I went out in a t-shirt and it it's felt lovely, wasn't amazing. It? Yeah, it is. Begonias don't care. Basically, it can be the wettest summer on record. It could be the driest summer on record. Begonias really do seem to just keep going. Feed them water them they will deadhead themselves but they will flower right the way through to the first frosts in fact you'll be you'll be come on begonias i need to plant something else there mm. that's what you'll be saying to yeah, them yeah absolutely i care but the begonias don't because yes. i need it to be warm uh six three zero one nine zero i need it to be uh, dry between now and the end of june Right. Well, it's Glastonbury at the end of you've June. You've got Glastonbury, you've got, got Eurovision. You've got Eurovision. I don't, Eurovision. Weather doesn't matter for Eurovision. What we don't want, it doesn't matter if it rains over the weekend of Glastonbury. We just, well, yeah, I did it, it could rain after Glastonbury, uh, which is, yeah, the last weekend in June. June yeah. But it's from now we start looking, because if we have a lot of rain now through to May, even if we have a couple of warm weeks before, I mean, May and June specifically, we need it to be bright Dry. and sunny. Well, I'll keep my May fingers and June, crossed for please, you. If you go, and last year it was, wasn't it? We had glorious weather through, yeah. I mean, May and June, glorious. Uh, we were in Liverpool for Eurovision in, what, mid-May? And it was so lovely. Yeah. Uh, but then after June, at the end of June, what happened? July was a washout, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, washout. You just never know what's going to... You never, it's like a box of chocolates, the weather <laughs> in this country. You never, never know, know what you're going to get. What are you going to get? Uh, majestic lilies, though. Yeah. You always know you're going to get something glorious, well, I think, when you go for a lily. This has been incredibly popular today and yesterday, in actual fact. So I'm really pleased about that because I'm a big fan of lilies. I think they're showy. I think they're flamboyant. I love the fragrance from them. And this is a really good collection we're talking about here, a standout collection, particularly when you think about the colour mix that you're getting included. The yellows, the oranges, the reds, the blushes, the whites, they are really, really beautiful. Definitely plant these together. Don't plant a bulb here and a bulb there. It will be lonely all on its own. Plant them in multiples. You know, I would probably plant all 10 in one uh, bunch together. And if you're going for the double up deal, how amazing would it be if you plant all 20 in one location? That display will be beautiful. Nice and strong stems. So if you're if you're wanting to cut flowers and bring mm. those indoors, these will work great for that. And they don't get really tall. Some of them can get 90 centimetres, a metre oh, in height. Nice. These should only get to about 60 centimetres in height as well. So, you know, sometimes sometimes it depends where you are and where you're planting. Sometimes you don't want them to get that tall. I want this a whole one. lily garden. I want the carpet ones at the front. Yeah, I want these. Yeah. And then I want the skyscrapers in the back. They're just all down one side of the garden. Very nice. I mean, it'd be bare and for a lot of the year. And if you get a mixture of Asiatic and Oriental, because Asiatic flower earlier than oriental. Right. I think I've got that the right way round. Asiatic flower earlier than oriental. So if you get a mixture of the two in your garden, you can extend your lily flowering season mm. too. I mean, I, I, I'd have to plant something else in this garden, I think, for yeah. the rest of the year. Yeah. But it would imagine the smell. Be amazing. Uh, yeah, and, and the spectacle of it when they all flower, just glorious. And the price is glorious on these as well. Six five zero one three four. It's a buy one get one. So nine ninety nine would get you ten as long as you've got the code we'll pop another one in that basket for you you'll get 20 so please do make sure you're using the code ygtv1024 should we move down to the nandina flower firepower yeah. which is this one just here nandina firepower yeah so our true multi-season feature plant and i really do mean that often we say you know multi-season when it's evergreen which absolutely it is because mm. it means that there's always something to look at but this i think gives you more this is a bit extra this is a bit joe remblance <laughs> um, because what you get Very is <laughs> i mean it's evergreen it's ever red the leaves don't drop off this it is not deciduous normally when you see a plant doing this kind of um, uh, fauna display with mm. the reds and the oranges you think oh it's about to drop its leaves because it feels a bit crispy doesn't it, it? Does. but that's all right it's got a lovely feel to it in fact can i just pick it up and put it mm. next to my mic Stu? sorry i'm going to be annoying i just want to a little wind chime in the garden. Yeah. 
that muscling it's got a around. lovely sound to it when it moves it's often called sacred bamboo heavenly bamboo and i think it's because of that movement and that sound but it's not invasive it's not a bamboo in any way shape or form and it doesn't drop those leaves but what you get is this color changing effect going on here and it does look at those lovely green look at that mm, beautiful. color changing effect that you have on here because in the colder months you get these lovely oranges and ochres and umbers and reds and burgundies and in the warmer weather you get these glorious shades of green mm. on here so as the temperatures drop it changes to those reds and as the temperatures warm up you get those greens but Beautiful it doesn't lovely. stop there you get lovely little white flowers little star-shaped white flowers in spring once it once it establishes that is and later on in the summertime um sort of actually towards the end of summer early octa uh, early um autumn you're going to get these beautiful red berries on here as well so it truly does have something for you to look at in every single season plus it's stupidly hardy minus 20 plus 40 doesn't care sunshine shady part not full shade but part shade doesn't care easy to grow winter hardy there really is no pruning that you need to do with this and it stays nice and compact so if you've got a smaller garden a smaller space maybe you haven't got an outside space maybe you've got um uh, you've only got a balcony or yeah, a terrace perfect. or something this in a pot will Cut give you year-round interest really really glorious um and if you could stretch for two of them by the way oh yeah do. and get your box and you, with planters you know what? the thing is because if you've got two it'd be costing you what one should be costing exactly. you exactly which is glorious hello uh <laughs> and you hello. could pop that shall i pop it in there for yeah, us let's into do it. i'll have to hold planter. it look at that I mean, that, that. the boxwood planters, because they are a buy one, get one free they as are. well at 14 99 So you paid half price for that. You got a buy one, get one free there. Yeah. And then for 99 pence more, yeah, you can put your strawberries strawberry in, in here as well. Uh, you can see there uh, is your strawberry. You're going to yeah. get 10 uh, of those runners at 99p. Ooh, you won't pay the postage because you'll have already paid the postage on the pots themselves, yeah. which was the same price. Glorious. I mean, honestly, we? that would be an amazing little basket. Loads of savings you'll make from the buy one, get one free on your box words from your 99 pence for your strawberry runners. And then 9.99 was it for the Nandina or 8.99 if you're in the club. I yep. think that is an incredible value basket that we're Isn't talking it? about there. Really, really really cool that uh, if you want to go for the acorn planters how are we doing on quantity there Stu Stu is Ooh. our um, studio director we may have a few uh, left at the end of the day because I want to get whether some. they'll be there on Sunday though remains to be seen can't, can't guarantee see that, that one, I'm afraid. if you are watching this show back always check uh, if you're watching it back after it's aired of course you can watch them whenever you like um, but always check the website for the stock situation whatever we're talking about because we can only tell you what is going on at this very moment in time which is 12.53 on Thursday the 7th, 7th of, of March. March there we are right compost compost yes yeah, so there this is one of the most pop in fact, it is the most popular thing it's amazing, that we sell. Isn't it's it? the thing that we sell the most of here at the nursery. Obviously, if you're going for any of our plants, any of our bulbs, any of our standards, anything that you're buying today, you need some compost to plant it in. It contains some of the most incredible ingredients. So even if you're planting stuff out into borders, it's fantastic to mix some of this into the planting hole. Not only because it contains great feed for your plants mm. you know it's got it's got peat in here it's got slow release fertilizer but also because of this fantastic texture so it really does then help the roots of that plant to get down into the ground and then reach for the food for the water for everything that it needs to grow big and strong and healthy the peat as i say there's three different types in here we've got dark we've got light we've got sphagnum moss peat which is renewable but the other peat that's used me is the minimum amount for the maximum results Brilliant. And that's really important. important? Uh, because it helps to feed, it helps to keep the plants moist. Right. There's loads of things, but there is an environmental issue with it. So okay, you do need to use as minimal an amount as possible. And that's exactly what we've done. We've reduced the amount over the years. The slow release fertilizer, as I move my hands through here, you'll see lots of little green balls within here. This is a slow release fertilizer that feeds your plant for a good six months once you start planting things out into here. Really important for plants to get hold of feed as and when they need it, rather than just when we're choosing to feed them 
with our water-based feed, which we will start doing very soon. If you're looking to stock up, go onto our website. You're looking for Blooming Fast. It is blooming brilliant, honestly. It contains everything that's needed. I just pop the little green ball. Did you pop By it? By accident, yeah, and oh, it's well. got fertilizer inside there it. You go. Amazing. <laughs> um, we've got um, uh, we've got a pH buffer in here. This nice. puts the acidity level or the alkaline. It puts the it puts it the pH level of the compost at just the right place for the majority of your plants. So some like it slightly more acid, some like it slightly more alkaline, but this is right in the middle. So it's a real all round all round for yeah, uh, I, all round compost. I basically. think for me as well, the brilliant thing about this is that if you do go to a garden centre. I went to a garden centre and bought a plant once and it felt really dry. So to the till and paid for it. I said, Does that do you think that needs a bit of watering? The lady went, How should I know? <laughs> that was it. And I was like, brilliant, thanks for the advice. Okay, you work at the garden But what I mean is outside of those places there is a whole line of different compost. Compost yeah. for this, compost for that, compost for the other thing, compost for another thing. Just, uh, just you can go for something that you know is going to work for ninety-five percent of the plants yeah. in your garden, which I think is brilliant. So and not just work though. I mean, like so your plants will thrive, thrive yeah. in here. It's not about surviving. It's about actually thriving. About feeding them the best quality ingredients, and that is what this is. And it is always perfect quality. Sometimes when you open up a bag of you know inferior compost, I've done it myself, and it's got that dank horrible smell maybe even a mm. layer of white something all over it you never get that with this no. every time you open the bag it smells and looks absolutely beautiful light airy it is it is your five a day for your plants just yeah. like our five a day and we need that to be strong and healthy this is your five a day for your plants it really is um and it's busy as it always is as your premium professional compost you'll get two bags here so uh 50 liters uh, in each of these bags you'll get both of them it's postage included for you as well so 1250 each delivered which is marvelous so do grab those one zero zero <laughs> one two five uh, down right. the front there, can you see that? that oh, that tulip down there, yeah. So that was our spring flowering um, planter mats. I yeah. think it was a Peter, our head gardener, planted that up in a TikTok video that yeah. we did um, a little while ago. And it's obviously burst into flower. Look at that beautiful red tulip. Amazing. Isn't, isn't it, it gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Uh, 100125, if you want to go for Le Compost, as they call it in yeah, France. Yeah, and that is planted in Le Compost. Le Compost. Le Premium or Professional Compost. Il Compost. <laughs> Uh, it's probably il composto in Italy. <laughs> All you have to do is add an O at the end, right? Il composto. I, I, I'm not. I've, you're I've, learning Italian, I've stopped, I was, yeah, for a while, and no, I've let it not. go. I just had got a lot of things on. <laughs> and it, it, I got an email from Duolingo the other day, and it said, how do you say quitter in Italian? I was <gasps> like, all right, wow. Duolingo, simmer down. <laughs> well, how, do you call, what do you, how do you say quitter in Italian? <laughs> I know, I thought it was just it slightly It didn't make you toxic. want to go back on then? Absolutely not. No. I deleted that email very quick. I will get back to it I had one from one point. of my exercise apps and it said... It's going to say from an X then. <laughs> exercise <laughs> apps. And it said, um, uh, clearly our reminders aren't working for you, so we're going to stop sending them to you. Ooh. I was like, ah, all right. Um, I, when I, I, I don't smoke anymore, but when I did a while back, I had the app and it used to tell me every day how long I'd not smoked for. And I was in a back garden at a barbecue having a cigarette with a friend of mine. Our up. phones both went off at the same time, both having a cigarette. And we virtually looked at each other and burst out laughing. <laughs> I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Anyway, we're nearly out of time. Yes, we need to Bottle bring back brush, the colour salmon. Uh, which is beautiful. And this is, again, a really lovely, unusual one. Quite exotic, is, again, this one, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely has that exotic look and feel to it. But it is really, really gorgeous. A definite standout plant. You could put it into a border quite happily and it will work in a mixed border. But I think that this is a feature plant that wants a focus all on it. It mm. has these lovely bottle brush shaped fuzzy flowers on here and once this gets established you can be creating displays very similar to the one that you're looking at in this picture. Height of summer, so June, July time, this will be a standout feature in your garden.
season. It's half hardy. We're not saying fully winter hardy. Half hardy we're talking about here. So if you wanted to keep it in a pot so that you can move it. Of course. So you can put it next to the house to get that extra couple of degrees or under cover over the winter. Absolutely fine. But if you want to plant it out somewhere, you might just need to think about a little bit of extra care. Some horticultural fleece. Some, um, you know, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Mulch. Mulch. Uh, some lovely mulch around it as well to Lovely. give it that duvet but it is hardy down to about minus five so i think in most areas going to be absolutely fine but lovely upright growth on here and really really stand out beautiful plant uh we need to mention some planters for you 14.99 if you want to get that boxwood planters these have been off the chart busy buy one get one free here remember 14.99 uh that will get you two as long as you put the code in brilliant for so many things that you've seen in the majority garden majority of things we've seen today we're saying about that the one. eclipse which is this one here the trellis yes that's amazing. the one amazing great for something like the sweet peas also want to buy one get one free 9.99 here 130 small free. climbers absolutely brilliant can you brilliant. take this off as you well you can take it element. off absolutely brilliant. amazing that's yeah. right handy isn't it 9.99 if you want to grab that and Escalonia. Escal we're going to run to Escalonia. Sounds like somewhere exotic. Sounds like quite a long way, but it's it's not. It's here. Amazing. <laughs> uh, it's your pink L. Yes. I'm out of breath. The one that is, represents amazing value. This is a two litre pot that you're getting here for £9.99. If you go onto the website, you can buy a nine centimetre pot, one of those small ones, so mm -hmm. a really small plant um, for £12.99. That is the amazing value that we're bringing here on YGTV. We're getting in trouble with our commercial director. This is going to have to go up in price very, very soon. You're all recognizing the amazing value and that's mm. why this one has been really really it popular is. and you will be in a panicle if you miss it at this price <laughs> hey. uh, you absolutely will five one zero five four five you want to get that eight ninety nine if you are in the club thank Thanks, you Bex. it's a pleasure as it always is i will be back with you at some time in the near future uh bex when will you be back with us oh i'm gonna be back next wednesday i'm on qvc this sunday at 12 o'clock we've got the lovely adam walcott and sean crawley in the potting shed amazing if i don't see you through the week i'll see you through the window take care bye <laughs>